Not gonna lie, I thought I had more stuff I needed to set up beforehand, so honestly, we'll get off this. So, El Hayo. El Hayo. El Hayo. Because, yeah, I'm sitting in the queue again. But I thought I'd do it anyways, because whenever I'm setting up, it's usually the easiest thing to get into. Oh, and the PTB, what they've done. The reason why I said goodbye 104 is because they've redone all the add-ons. And in the add-on changes, they killed the purple crouch. They killed the yellow crouch, and they buffed the green. So what happens now is that instead of me using two add-ons to actually gain speed, I'm actually going to be at 100%, which is the same as a survivor. So it's going to be a weird one because I got to get used to the fact I'm actually even with a survivor now and I'm not always going to win the loop. So it's going to be weird. It's going to be a very strange period once it hits. But honestly, I'm going to probably play tonight as if I'm playing. Well, actually, tonight I'm probably just going to play with. Um... I think I'm just going to do green and yellow rather than purple and yellow. I don't know which one would actually feel more correct to play in practice. I think it'd be better to actually practice with being slower than a survivor than being faster than a survivor. So I got to get used to the 100% speed again or being even speed or a little bit less because I'm too used to playing with 104. So like all the loop looping I'm familiar with is based on around that, not around being even speed. But it does mean I do get to pick other per or add-ons now, so I do have a little bit more freedom there. I hopefully his chase music doesn't go into ma into the main game as it currently is though, because if it does, I'm not playing Ghostface anymore. Because I can't stand it. I actually can't stand the new chase music. Yeah, it's time to explore other add-ons, which is okay, because a lot of them are actually pretty good. I'm not a fan of some of them though, because like. For example, one is the same as Spirit. Okay, uh, I kind of wish I was on the ghost face. So I'll go over add-ons because I can tell you what changed. Oof, yeah, oof, it's an oofer. It's an oofer. I can actually find it. I just need to remember how loud my YouTube is versus OBS. Uh, ghost face. ETB, chase. It was really bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, is this just the chase? Oh, this is going to sound really bad. Let me turn this off. I apologize if this is loud on your end. This is like really quiet. Nope. Nope. Actually, that might be right, but it's not time stamped like the other one. This one. Okay. So this is the near before you start the chase. Chase is about to start. You enjoying this? Because my ears are already bleeding. <laughs> this is so bad. Like, this is extra loud. Like, like this is loud already. It's actually even louder on the serv on the killer side. It's so bad. And this it's just a repeat of this. It's not even a long song. It's literally like three second loop of it. And it's just like, it's so bad. I can really get down with the rest of it. Like the far away and the nearby are really good, but it's the song, it's the chase music itself. It's too fast paced. It's too fast and too loud. Cause even like, like uh, Billy's isn't bad. Like Billy's it's sort of loud, but at least it's not it's so high tempo that it sounds annoying. Same with Doctor, even though Doctor sounds like a train going chugga 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 the whole freaking way. And I'm probably just destroyed your mentality of the whole chase of Doctor now. Because once you hear it, it's a train, you can't unhear it. <laughs> once you hear that Doctor's Chase music is literally just a train, like, you just can't unhear that. It's just a train to me. I, 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 it's just a train killer to me. <laughs> oh, I love Legion's new stuff. It, it's really good. And holy crap, I can't remember if it's the yellow mixtape or the green mixtape. Just makes it so much better of a song. I played Legion add on this, but I actually played Legion with an add on only because of the fact that the music gets better, <laughs> not even because of the actual power. I don't even remember what one of the, gr the green mixtape does. I just know it's so much better. Like I can get down with the music even without the add ons, but like with the add ons it's just so much better. 
And then, yeah, Legion also got all his add-ons redone too. Which is okay, because I mean, like, Double Sketchbook was kind of boring to play, and that's basically the only way you do play them. I will miss the map-wide, um, our, the map-wide, uh, heartbeat, though. That's the one thing I'm going to miss on the pink. But apparently there's an add-on that lets you see mending people, so that'll be interesting. Kind of like nurse nurses, but only for mending. Because nurses lets you see people healing. Which doesn't let you see mending, because it used to at one point. That's why Doctor was so busted. Because Doctor just put people into the mend state, and you would just follow and look for the person mending. Or you would... Well, back then, you could also just keep following the person and shocking them until they hit tier 3. Yeah, it'd be interesting if there was um, one for each character, because, I mean, Legion is four people. Like, if Frank, Frank, Joey, Susie, and um, Julie all had different music, that'd be interesting. Doesn't have to be anything too crazy. Also, if we're playing against Artist, what's the chance she has the Tangled Hooks? I bet you she has Dead Man's. Dead Man's uh, Tangled? Yeah, they're taking hits. This is definitely a tangled hook. I'm just gonna sit here. Oh, basement. I'll just do it then. Oh, Leo. Thank you for giving the subscription. Yep, I'm hit. Darn, I'm hit. Oh my god, Bill! This game's over. Come on, curl me. Oh no, I've been hit. Your gen's still done. Don't care, Jen's still done. Oh my goodness, Bill! <laughs> but yeah, Leo, thank you for giving Brainwash your detective the sub. That, that means a lot. Thank you. Mwah. Oh. Hey, basement party! Everybody's in the basement. Come on, curl me up. Throw me up, lady. Throw me up inside. Oh my gosh. Throw me up inside. Come on, I want a moonwalk there. Throw me up inside. She's just going back to the basement, right? Oh, she don't care, and she's under not the pallet. But there's a hook. Throw me up inside. Throw me up inside. Wait, which is trippy? The moonwalking? This is this is con this is controller moonwalking, which is uh, kind of awkward to do, but it's doable. Is she just chilling on the hook. It's hard to tell. Hey, look, is this ruin? Actually, no, it can't be ruin. What is this? Miss, what is this? Miss artist, what is this? You can't have this. No, 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 you can't have this. You can't have whatever this is. I don't care if it's hot, haunted grounds. We're all injured. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just gonna open the chest. This game's over. Nobody's doing gens, as far as I'm aware. They might be on a gen right now, actually, but I do need a med kit. Nice. Yep, healing up. Okay, now I can do it. I'm just listening, just in case she turns around. She does not have nurses. No nurses? But we still don't know what that one perk was. Oh, I don't give up. Like, I don't just stop playing and throw myself at the killer. Like, some people will do that. I want at least my pip. Like, I always play the pip. I will never just full give up like some people do. Unless I can see that I'm not going to even get my black pip, then I will just off myself in-game. Oh my god, are you just doing your sabos? Yes. Yeah, you are. Can I just heal you with the rest of this med kit? Please? Please? Thank you. But I can't use this for myself anyways. It's half a heal. Half a heal isn't good enough for me, but it's good for speeding up this heal. Because med kit, or at least this med kit, I think, gives you 35% more heal speed on top, so. So half a 35% of a normal heal. Uh, healing is 16 seconds, 33% faster, or 35% faster on that. 
Ugh. Math. Math hard. I probably saved like three seconds at most. I love that half these hooks have been in the basement. It has not been anywhere else. And she's given up. She's still standing. Darn, I'm hit. Oh my god, she really is just giving up. Yeah, he's done. I'm just gonna heal her. I don't care, this is free points. I'm healing you for free points. Unless this gets me altruism. Yeah, this girl's been standing here too long. She had crows, which means she's not doing anything. She's literally gotten hooked and just gave up and stopped playing. And this is the only... I can't wait for this girl to only go after me because I'm not the AFK one. That's what's about to happen, right? Oh, she's going after the AFK. Let's go break this then for objective. His totems do give you objective points as well, like gen doing gens. It's only like a fourth though, so you do have to break a lot of bones. I am literally the only one who did a gen. I don't think I can get a second gen before the person dies. Like I can do this, jump in a locker. It comes down to do they... Do they even pick? Holy sh- holy shikers, they actually picked up. Thank you. And if they're truly AFK, they won't struggle on the hook and they'll die. And they see me walking away. Hmm. Interesting. Did you see me getting in the locker? That was just a latency? That's what that one felt like. I think she saw me on the end. Because that was a weird section to suddenly come over to. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, unfortunate. Never even got to use the deliverance either. Mercy or doesn't care? Doesn't care, yeah. The AFK gamers don't matter. Oh, please let me do it. Help. No, this isn't the newest killer. This is a killer. This is the last um, non-licensed killer. She's the artist. How many people play her? I don't find her fun at all, so I don't play her on stream myself. She's not 100% done either. That's because a lot of people just find her so boring. <laughs> I find her boring to play and play against because she's just an easier huntress. By the way, I did all that just to not lose my pip. Yeah, she must have saw me on the last end. Yeah, she had to have seen me on the last second getting in, because I don't know how else she saw me. Because that's a weird section to suddenly go over to. Unless she checked the middle, saw that it was actually being worked on a tiny bit. And then just went from there. I don't think she saw the blood. It's possible she saw some blood, and then the game, being dumb, put blood in the room, and that's why she deviated there for a while. Because that does happen as well. Same with scratch marks. Scratch marks are really bad for that. But to answer your question, yeah. The newest killer isn't the artist. She was the previous one. The newest one is Sadeo. Oh, so GG, they're proper. Did you just guess? By the way, since you're here, did you just guess where I was, or did you just catch me on the barbecue in the end? Because I was, like, really close on my end, but I'm pretty sure Dedicated gave you the vision. Because I felt like I just mismanaged the time of the barbecue there. But yeah, for playing Ghostface now, we have to say goodbye to our, sh our purple sh uh, sheath. Goodbye, my good old friend. We have to get used to the 100% movement, but we might as well play with 99. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Uh, the ghost face changes for per or add-ons since I know you don't play the game, Leo, or play, like play play the game, because like a lot of this stuff's changed. So, ghost face has a lot of add-ons around stuff like movement speed while stalking or stalking in general. 
So. Ah, okay. I was just a guess. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe I got saw seen on the beginning. But for add-on changes for Ghostface, the biggest one is goodbye to the chewed pen. Chewed pen, Olsen's address book, and matchbook have all been changed. Matchbook is basically chewed pen now. Which is good because as a gray, it's actually easy to obtain and there's no double cooldown anymore. Uh, this doesn't do this anymore. Yeah, Ghostface Con on camera gives you your power back instantly on downing somebody. Basic hit, doesn't matter what it is. Uh, this is seven seconds and doesn't require outside of the terror radius. So you just get free vision if you knock somebody down that's marked. Also, uh, marking, people can't knock you out while they're marked now, so you can actually commit to the chase with the power still on. I usually drop the power for getting on cooldown myself. Uh, driver's license, I think is the only one that got left alone for some reason. Uh, drop leg, what it does instead is when you expose somebody, you get a 10% movement speed for 5 seconds, meaning you're moving at 125 as soon as you mark somebody for 5 seconds, which usually means they're not getting away. But the only reason why I don't like that is because I'm losing my freaking crouch speed, which is this is going to be doing 10% now rather than the six. Um, night vision monocle. Um, one of these gives expo or um, gives exhausted the exhausted status if you're knocked out, and the other one gives it when they're exposed for five seconds. And basically, that means they can't sprint burst away, they can't dead hard, they can't do any of that. And usually, if that's when that happens, they'll be in chase. And five seconds doesn't sound like a lot, but they have to walk. They have to walk or not move for those five seconds, which means you're basically got them. So those are going to be interesting as well. Uh, chewed pen, don't remember what it does now. Uh, belt clip. I know one of these gives... Um... Oh, I know, I know, I know. One of these is... Um... I usually swing to get out of it, which is what apparently the cinch straps will be doing now is uh, basic hits won't knock you out of your power, which I think is actually really, really bad to use if you're a good ghost face. You want to get on your cooldown as soon as you're done with it. Don't even bother using your power and chase unless you're committed to the idea of removing information or using the fact that they know that you're in power to make them make mistakes. That's how I usually play ghost face. I'll usually keep the red light as long as I need to until I reach a point where I want the survivors to start second guessing themselves, especially double backing. Because usually if you're using the power, you're going to go for a weird play, which I usually find that most people will double back. So you just hold forward with it. It's so funny. I find I usually just do it that way. There is some moments where I will go long, but it's very rare. I need to condition the survivor first or make a read that noticing that they're not looking behind themselves. So I find survivors that don't look behind themselves are really easy to just follow what they're what they're thinking. But that's more of a you gotta gotta watch the survivor on what they're doing. Because some survivors will autopilot the loop, others will autopilot the holding W. And holding W is they're just trying to maximize their walking forward and they don't care what loop they're at, they'll just keep going. And you gotta be aware of whether they're actually gonna stay at a loop or not. Which for the ghost face at least it's just stock to 99 and leave them if you know that's what they're doing because they're just going to be a pain in the butt to catch. And you just immediately bop them when they come in to save somebody else or something. Which is probably my favorite use of ghost face's power. Which is why I might use the green, the green crouch and maybe the 6 second cooldown matchbook. I'm thinking either that or the 3 second or the add-on that says um, hook survivors need 3 seconds to reveal you because that's another change that's going to mess with me a lot is the fact that survivors will be able to knock you out more proper because usually when it goes in, you can like immediately touch a tree or something to break the line of sight and reset it completely, but that won't happen anymore. So it's going to make it a lot easier to lose your power, even though it's kind of easy-ish to break it, but it it's a weird one. Like I can't blame the devs for doing that because there is a lot of situations that get really dumb. It's like a ghost face just immediately hides behind a tiny tree. To break it immediately resets. So I can understand that's really dumb. Uh, this is gonna get so weird to feel, get used to. I don't like that feel. I don't like that feeling. So I need to get used to playing Ghostface again. It's been a while. I don't usually play Killer off stream that often, so like it always feels weird for the first few games. 
Oh, so they're probably just doing the one in the building. They are not doing the one in the building. Oh, so I shouldn't be crouching as much. That's one. Oh. I wonder if he saw me. I don't know if he saw me. I think he did. Yeah, he did. Okay, he's doing nothing as far as I'm concerned. So, where's the other three? Over here? No. Okay, if they're all waiting out the, the corrupt, that's actually going to be beneficial to me. What are they doing? Okay, they're in the building. Eeny. Okay, three people here. Good to know. Okay, well, you're after dead hard for something at this point. That's not a dead hard to something. Oh, that's a light to something. Never mind, that's a light to nothing. That's a hit. Mm, I don't know if I had a flashlight, but I will take this chance. Somebody's doing the bone upstairs. Oh. I still have enough time to make this unless they have breakout. Yep. Yeah, this is what I mean. You gotta figure out what the survivors want first. And this one just says hold W, which is okay. Oh, if this is the Dwight, they're dead. Dead. And if the girl's gonna come in, she's gonna have to tank a hit and die for it. Healed up. That's fine. Oh, there she is. Oh, she just... Head on. Interesting. Okay. Okay, yeah, she... She knew. Hmm, interesting. She's a double backer. I gotta keep that in mind. How oh, annoying. This is what I mean about scratch marks, by the way. Unless she had, um... Oh, she did have it. This is a, such an annoying setup, by the way. She does not have to do anything about it. Oh yeah, she head on me. She doesn't have dead hard. I make this. That's an annoying setup because that's a free run to a fast vault. I can correct the ink or I can change the direction of that loop and I get punished for it. Because you just leave and go to that window. That's disgusting. If I can get this pal out of the way, this is fine. But I don't think I will. He went long. He went... Oh, interesting. Scratch marks being scratch marks as usual. Nice. Interesting. I'll definitely take that. That's why you don't really camp under the pallets, because you get weird situations like that. I don't think I deserve to win that one, but okay. Oh, that gen's super done. Question is, can I interrupt it? If I can lean on a tree, I got him.
Red burst, yep. <laughs> you thought I was going long. Color. You know what? I'll take that. Sure. Ah, oh. 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 good old Dead by Daylight. Working as intended. Okay. He d he just disappeared from existence. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen where it keeps the body in the game. So that was interesting. I don't know. That feels like a crash more than a rage quit. That's a very weird one to rage quit over, but... Come on. Okay. Oh, interesting. You gonna throw the pallet then? That's a hit. What? You went wide for the fast fault. What did you expect? Dead. Dead. Eh, let's throw over here. I think I went only because of the Dwight DC. He still—he was only on second hook. I thought he's not dead. Yeah, because he's not dead. This gem would have been done earlier. I wonder if that's gonna change too the angle, because apparently it was mentioned something about the angle will be easier to center the screen for stalking and being stalked out. I'm kind of curious on what they mean by that. Like, will that be widened? Because I never got to test that. Yeah, I just gotta whack him. So apparently that will be easier on their end, but that'll also be easier on my end. So, like, I had that super wide angle of getting Jonathan, but, like... You had dead heart? Oh yeah, I guess I never chased you. He's just gonna go upstairs and make this a long chase, yeah. Just gonna do this and leave, probably. Yeah, that's unfortunate. He got the good window. Dun 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 dun. Dead. I saw he wasn't moving. He was really hoping to land under me. <laughs> I didn't see a movement to the left or the right on the land. Probably healing. No, they're just pushing the gen. Not a bad plan. Probably. Oh, never mind. Not done. Not done anymore. I can't lean on the chest. Did you just go in? Yeah, you did. Oh, Johnny boy. Oh, Jonathan. I'll just whack him. I'm not going to get it in time. Yeah, they don't play loops. If I could get them to play a loop, I'd love to learn. Whether I can... He doesn't get to do this twice, so I might as well actually chase him. Because we know he has light, so... Because he has light, he can't commit to this twice. Yeah, so many people will try this loop, and it's like, if I... I mean, I understand from the perspective of, I need time. Like, if you're trying to waste time, it's actually the perfect loop. But, like, it's a loop I'll always win. But it'll always waste a certain amount of time, which is enough time for one looping. Yeah, 
I wonder what Jen Leon's doing. He had deception. She just kept going. Yep. Which explains why I heard it from the first locker. Touch the door. There's the door touch. Bro. I think she can see over this just enough. Yeah, she can see over just enough. And she's just gonna throw the pallet. I'm just gonna get a 3k out of this, which is fine. Or she just does that. Okay. You console? They're not console. Yeah, they're not consoles. It's not like they just lag there. Yeah, locker. I'm not surprised. If I'm not seeing anything and my whispers are still on, I think it's locker. <laughs> And extra 500 points. Let's go open the door. Bing. So that's what I mean about making a right read, though. That's one thing I'm going to have to get used to. Like, that loop there, normally I would end that loop so much faster, even though I was make, trying to see if she would, like, double back. Because every time I was doing that, I was losing distance rather than gaining distance, which is what the double, double sheet does. But now it'll just be 100%, so, like... It's hard to guess on whether I'm going to be gaining or losing there. That's why I'm doing this, is I'd rather practice on losing distance than gaining distance, because it's only going to screw with me. So they they actually brought brand new parts. What is this? So that explains why this guy kept running early. <laughs> or at least hiding the way they did, too. Fun chill is an interesting beast of its own because you can't tell if the survivor has it unless you guess by their pattern of behavior. But even then, that's hard to guess. It's like, am I just revealing myself? Like, are they noticing me making my way across? Is somebody calling it out? Fun chill is a hard one to guess if they have the perk. Like, there's no giveaway. It's not like quick and quiet, iron will, dead hard, anything that like actually shows itself in chase. Because quick and quiet will show because they make no noise. Deception showed for that girl, or the Nia, or, why do I always mix up the two? Nia, it was, yeah, it was the Nia or the Meg. I think it was Meg that was chasing, not Nia. Like, that Meg had Deception. I didn't know that until I actually got to see it in person. Because before, I, I knew they had head on, because that's what they hit me with. They had, they, I mean, when they did the Deception, that meant they have Quick and Quiet as well. Something I didn't even pay attention to see that they have. Actually, I should have looked at the perks. I didn't actually look at hers. I just kind of saw the two spine chills and left. <laughs> that, Dwight, that Dwight was a weird one, though. I don't know what happened for him. Because he unintentionally got outplayed by himself because I just stood still. <laughs> Probably like, how the heck did I... How the heck did I lose that? Because I stood just out of line of sight on the short wall, which would imply I'm going around. Uh, I probably should have threw a sacrificial word. On oh, Windows. And hello, and I'll hey y'all. I'll hey y'all. But yeah, I don't know what happened with the delight. They were not happy with me after downing them, and but I don't know if it was just crashed either, because like their body stayed. I was staring at the thing. <laughs> it was so funny watching a wiggling Dwight in midair. Just it was just so weird.
I stared at that until it disappeared and then I continued on. Just like, oh, okay. I should have circled it a little more. Also, you thank you for the mail. follow and welcome to Owl Mail. I am Sarah, the, pel the post owl. Not entirely in post in the uniform, but someday I'd like to think I'll get into it, but we'll see. I got back in work to do with this model. Well, this model and the rework. And then maybe a little something on the side. I still haven't decided what I'm doing with it. But I do have a secret project in work as well. I'll tell them GG and I enjoyed their chases. I don't know what happened at the end that they whammed themselves into the rammed themselves into the wall. That kind of looked like lag to me. That's what that's what that looked like. It just looked like they lagged out and hit the wall. Which is why I almost thought they were on console. Because I've had that happen. Where you just have that slight stutter and suddenly it's like you're not lined up with what you thought you were. Oh, so this is the worst version of Cow Shed. Or uh, of Cold Wind. I don't like this. Oh, people. Can I stalk you through the corn? Well, not through the corn, but we do know where she's at. Does she have spine chill? Um. Here comes the dead hard to pallet. Hey, dead hard. And a wall to hug. Nope, no flashlight. Oh, we got the two gamers in the mid and in, in the gen behind. Actually, yeah, it has to be two. We're not even 60 seconds in. Also, I love that's what got caught. Give me a second. Sorry, I didn't realize that got blocked. Bonk. Okay, maybe I can get used to the one, the 99%. I mean, I am only doing it for a short period. I'm just gonna whack her and leave. Unless she just tries to pick up a heal. Thank you. I mean, they're... Well, for the playstyle of the other game, it was a little weird, because I'm actually surprised how many people just didn't play out the loop. They just kept leaving. Like, nobody wanted to stay. Which is, like, my favorite thing to do with Ghostface, and I'm playing with 99. That's what I forgot to throw on. Uh, give me a second. There we go. I meant to have this on as well. Plus, I'm, I'm tunneling. I'm a tunneler, tunneler. I'm a tunneler. Dead hard number two. Dead hard to pallet number two. Ow. I got the pallet. I can't believe I keep getting away with this garbage. That was so garbage. I can't believe I got away with that. That was criminal. This is literally the jungle gym. How did I get away with that? That came from autopiloting, because if she was looking behind, she would know she would realize that I wasn't following. Also, I knew it was tunneling because it was the same Meg, and that wasn't even a case of, like, I didn't know, it was like, I do know. Just because of the positioning. I was like, I know it's this specific Meg. Oh yeah, this pallet's still down, let's break it. They look the same, they're both ugly to me. <laughs> I know, these are all Nia's. I guess they're all Mia's. Oh yeah, this is what I mean for the stalking thing though. Like, I'd be on a cooldown for the breaking out. Okay, she's good for later. So let's go find somebody else. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. 
Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, they're on this. Let's see if I can break the line of sight. Breaking the line of sight. Oh. They got themselves pretty good four gens here. Oh, gamer. Okay, we got a gamer there. We got one here for sure. Question is, which Nia is this? No, it's the one I stalked. Shit. She's just gonna dead hard the pallet. Oh. And she makes it to. Actually, no, she doesn't because. Yeah, this is a, oh, and this is sad. This is a hit though. She's going to a loop that I can actually play, so sure. Bit hard. Barely. Oh, Nia number two. Bonk. Hey, look, there's another Nia. Jesus. <laughs> okay. That's not her. This one. That must have been a dead hard. I'm very confused otherwise. Does she make that? No, she doesn't. Wow, they have a circle of healing as well. I never even heard the thing go down. Let's just get rid of this boon right now. Okay, they're all together. Good to know. Though I really hate I'm gonna have to pop the power to figure out which one of the three I'm chasing. Because I know why this window is still up. Or this uh, door is still there. Healthy one. Dead. Nice. Quick chase. I'll take that. I do like a quick chase. I'll gladly take a quick chase. Because I, I know that means they're not, only got one person on the gen. Yeah, two there, one here. And this is probably the person who thinks they're stalked. This is super safe. Actually, no, they both left. Interesting. Let's break this then. Oh, wait, I already broke it. I'm dumb. I thought I never broke it. Ah, that just happens with me sometimes. I forget what I've broken when I haven't broke it. Good. If I hug this tight enough, they can't get me from the from the hill. Because you can get nailed from above the hill if you crouch in flashlight. But if you're standing flashlight, you can't get it. But if crouching flashlight, you can actually get it. It's really silly. Call it out, call it out, call it out. Early lever? This is a kick and go. At least I think you can, because it's like the angle of the, hugging it. Because this rock wall is not, it's like this, it's a slope. And slopes you can actually nail. Like you can still nail through it with the light, because the lights are actually very interesting. I want the healthy person, because I know I'm not tunneling. But I mean, they are playing the good palette here, but that's fine. This might actually be good for me. I do need to learn the one, the 99%. But she might just play it super safe anyways. That's what it's looking like. She, looks like she's playing it safe. Yeah, she's playing it super safe. Now she's going to play the cow tree, throw it, and then see what I do from there.
yeah. Not much I can do about this. Just gonna go right. Actually went left back to the shack. Interesting. I guess we still have the pallet, right? Bro. I'm thinking right, but forward. Unfortunately, I got caught. That sucks. They're gonna start tanking hits is what's about to happen. But she doesn't- if they didn't call it out, she doesn't know this door ain't ready. Uh, this is gone. He's gonna go for the window. Oh my goodness. Are you only gonna hold forward? Yeah, there's no mind game here. I have to hold forward. I can reverse the loop, but she gets a free run to the door. She's gonna get a free run anyways, because I can't stalk through enough people. <sighs> if I swung earlier, it was free. Uh, she makes the window still. I'm actually surprised nobody's come in for the body block yet, because that's all she needs. Interesting. Does she keep running? There it is. There's the body blocks. I knew they were going to start coming. They screwed up. They just had the beeline. Only one of them is a flashlight, and I know which one, so. This is gone. She's second hook. Yep. That door's done. Yep, that door's done. Thank you. Okay, I just wanted to check that. That's actually really important. We got one. That's better than I was expecting, honestly. Especially if they're just beelining to the door and then dead harding for it. Yep. Can't do too much about that. I can do this, though. Of course, doesn't actually have to give me points. I get so many people that just leave and don't even let you get your 10 points or 100 points for starting the chase. I mean, no. I'll, I'll say 1k is fine for the worst gold one I can get for Ghostface. I don't think this came to play, even though I'm wondering if it did. I don't know which Nia I was chasing when I barely missed them at the vault. I would like to get two kills and actually black pip or even pip once, but that's just me. I'm a bit old school, I'd say the pip is the win, not not the MMR system or whatever. If you can get if you can do two kills and still get your single pip. I'd say that's a win. I'd say loss or... I don't know, it depends on the mood for me, for the games. And that's how I, how I kind of do it, because like I can, like if it's just a complete wash and like I can see one person's competent, it's like, okay, I'll give you hatch probably. Sometimes it doesn't happen only because Mainly because I can't find the person I want to kill, and I don't feel like spending five minutes. Because, like, let's say this person is the only competent one on this game. What's going to happen is I'm going to kill, say, this per the Felix and this Fang. And this Fang's going to only hide. So this is the only person I can find, because this is the only person wanting to do gens. And it's like, I want this person to live. But this person's being a twat. 
Because that, like, that's a situation I find that happens quite a bit when you want to let one person out and you don't want to let the others out. Also, GG there, Cryptic. But yeah, if I knew the Nia that, that was on the gen was the 99 person, I would have just popped the power instead of trying for the grab. Because 90% of the time, you just get your grab cancelled. Because I had it cancelled on me there. That's why I went for the swing. Because I wouldn't have swung. The game automatically swings for me. That was their quote-unquote fix for um, servers dedicating your grab. Because it used to be just it cancelled the grab and didn't even give you an opportunity to swing. Which was even worse. Because you could just have situations where you could have hit somebody on the vault. But you got, you got the grab cancelled and then you don't even get your hit either. Because it doesn't give you the opportunity to hit. So that's what the game does now. Is it just registers a an M1... If it can't find a grab, it'll just register as if it's a, an attack. Because that hurt me a lot. Oh, new add-ons are going to be interesting, though. I don't even know what I want to keep or don't keep. I definitely have to build up stock on the greens again. Oh no, that's all good. Even having me in the background is all good. It's okay to vibe and do other things. Doesn't hurt my feelings. That's what I you know I kind of do with everybody else. So like, if I'm just background noise, it's fine. You don't have to put your put your eyes against the screen and be like, "Hmm, I see thing in the corner there." <laughs> Midwitch sucks. Midwitch sucks. Midwitch can go to hell. <laughs> Witch sucks. Yes, it does. It sucks balls and other thing. <laughs> well, actually, no, that's what I want to do. <laughs> hey, screw off. Screw off, Fang. I know you got the whole W map. You're not even going to throw it. You're just going to hold forward, right? Ow. Yep. Keep on forwarding, keep on forwarding all day long, all day long. Muday bot? Oh, I'll be gladly break this. Wow, she just committed to holding forward. She didn't even care what I did. You have dead heart then? Yes, he did. Rolling for husbando. Yo, I get to break this right now. Very nice. What do we got? We got gamers probably on that one and the other one above me. Yeah, let's break this right now. Because unless she calls it out, this fang. I don't think the fangs will know about this unless they call it to each other. Because this is the only fang that will know this is open. Unless they actually check it. This is unfortunate. Nobody's in there. Ugh. Do I really camp this one out? Because it's so boring. I think I'm going to have to camp it out. It's just so boring. What do you expect me to not do here? So I know you're just like vibing down here. Okay, now she's just gone. Like, I don't get what she was trying to achieve there. I know you're like following me. I'll just back up. That's a hit. Yeah, that's a hit. Why are you bleeding? 
Why the heck was she bleeding like she had hemorrhage there? That was so weird. She's gonna throw it immediately. Or not, because she has dead heart. Wait, did that actually get you? Dead hard. Yep. Did you leave, or are you still here? You're still here. That's a hit, then. 10 out of 10 auto aim. <laughs> that auto aim was wild. <laughs> I got the full spin and an auto hit. That was dirty. Oh, come on. Stay on the gym. I don't even feel like popping the power, honestly. They're going to come down the hall. They're going to come down the hall. Back to hook. Back to hook gamers. Don't care. I'll catch you later. What gens do I need to protect this, this, and this? Yeah, we can just 3-gen the heck out of this. Yeah, we get the 3-gen the heck out of this. You're not going to throw it. Yep. He's going to leave. Oh my goodness. I need the moonwalk that. That's just that's just me being dumb. What happens here is she just leaves this. They call it out. Yep. Actually, yeah, they know about this gen. They just have to hold forward and leave it. Yep, and circle of healing is around here and I can't do anything about it because it's on the second floor. Or she was self-caring. Just swung for that. That would have been a free swing. Yeah, that's game. You got the window. Unfortunate. Yep, slow vaulted it. That's fine. Ah, uh, good old midwitch. That's a hit. Or not. The magic question of whether the crouch mattered or not there, because it slowed me down. I'm thinking the crouch actually screwed me over there. That's 6% slower. I'm confused on why this is still open, considering we you slow vaulted this while we were in chase. That's a hit now, but she has dead hard. There it is. I'm not happy about the new change. Because I feel like I could have won that chase earlier. That's forever going to be a question of did I lose the chase because of my add-ons or not. And my add-ons were fine and they weren't game-breaking either. If I can find the Felix, I definitely get one more hit. Or one more down. Honestly, do I just sit here? I feel like sitting there is the answer. Yeah, it's definitely the answer. Oh, especially if it's he if it's him. Yeah, you're not gonna go for it. Sad. Now we break it. There we go, five hooks. That's about the best I'm getting today. Yeah, that's probably the best I'm getting today. Oh, we got four stacks out of it. I'll take that, though.
I can just wait for your BT. Oh, this is throwing. You're dead. No. Okay. There's no pallet in here. He has that hard. Remember this. Wow, she's up. Two down. Oh, I see what side she's on. Nice. She's dead. They're going to pick up. Nice, two dead. We got two dead out of this, holy crap. I'll knock you out. And then I just pick up the Felix. Yeah, because this is all that happens, I just pick up the Felix. Yeah, and then I just sit on the door. That leaves only one way for the fang come, to come in, and that's, it's that, and I just body block her if she tries to go for the unhook. Sadly, I lose points for doing this if she's not nearby, but that's the best I can do. I might as well just confirm the kill. Kind of lame, but it's whatever. It's literally endgame. I can't do anything else. Securing the kills is the only thing you have left to do. I don't even want to leave either, because she could just be right up there, looking at me through the third-person camera. But I know as soon as I leave to go check a door, she's probably just going to run in here on hook with BT and, I'm, and I lose everybody. Yep, there she is. And then she dead hearts for the door, because it's already open. Assuming the speed boost isn't enough already. Yeah, she makes it. Eh, whatever. GG's. One, two, three dead hards. There was a circle. I was pretty sure because I was like, that's not self-care. It's too fast. The Unbreakable probably came into play. They probably 99 and the other Fang picked up. That's what I think happened. I don't think they actually popped any of the Unbreakables. Because that's the strat you do with these. You don't actually pop them. You don't pop them unless you have to. You just put yourself at 99. Well, I mean, the only memer would be this person. And that's they're assuming that I'm not going to just expose down them. Because this is a gamble. Because if I'm a one-shot killer, this is bad. Which is why people like Dead Hard, because Dead Hard is a no thing perk that works on any killer regardless. Because if they're a one shot killer, just don't heal. Just don't heal and use Dead Hard. It's a kind of unfortunate situation of it, but I understand why people do it. Because, like, through the testing, or like yesterday's tests, which I think was grades because they hit him. Literally, the first game I got was the face camping Bubba, which is why I always run Kindred, DS, and BT. Like, those three perks are always auto-logged. I don't care about Dead Hard myself. I try not to rely on it, so usually my fourth perk is anything else. Sometimes it's a heal. Usually it might be self-care. I'm, I'm a bit of a strange one. I like to run self-care only because I'm usually aware of what's going on. 
to the point that I can abuse self-care much better than I could use something like Circle of Healing. Plus with Circle of Healing, people are always going to go check the certain totems. And sometimes it takes forever to find a totem and it's a trap itself. So I find with Circle of Healing, if you don't have another teammate calling out the position, sometimes you can waste like two minutes finding a totem. And that's even wor that's worse than Old Ruin in the context of like trying to find a totem to go break. It's like, that's so bad. Yeah, Blast Mine is an interesting one because you get benefit even if the killer doesn't kick it because the, your teammates know what's up. They see a yellow gen and they're like, oh, there's a gen. I can go help. Or, oh, that's a gen. Leave it alone because I'm about to run there. Which is why it's a nice perk. It's an information. It's funny enough, it's an information perk. But if I'm going to run an information perk, I like Kindred or Bond more. Because I almost prefer the information for myself more than the others. I guess if you were here... Well, I know you weren't here earlier, but when I did my one Survivor game, I had Deliverance as my fourth. And the only reason I had Deliverance was because I was getting sick of the situation where the killer doesn't have has no interest in me, so I always get an unhook. And then I get face camps. So, well, I might as well just have the Deliverance to force them to face camp me and, and wait longer. So I was trying to decide whether I wanted camaraderie more or wanted that. And honestly, that's even better because then they wait until you're not broken, which is an extra 60 seconds, which is way longer than the camaraderie would have ever gave you. And then if they pick you up, you just DS them. So it's a win-win, regardless of the face camping scenario. Yeah, that's the fun thing with survivors, when you have enough survivors maxed out. Like, I have like six, but some survivors, I kind of have the same builds on them. Depends on what I'm feeling. Sometimes I'll forget what I, I've been messing around, though. Because, like, my Jeff had flashbang on him. I can't remember what the heck I was doing with flashbang. But I know uh, Jake and Dwight have more tryhardy builds. But it has my kind of in-between. Uh, David has something meme -y, I think. Steve's not done, so he just has four perks of whatever. He knew how to knock me out, but he just didn't commit, which is interesting. That's a throw. Yeah. You need the body block. Thank you. She had the idea, but I she needed him to cooperate. Because this Fang was a champ. She actually came in. I don't know why she came in a little bit earlier, so he didn't even need to throw the pallet, but that might have been too early because of positioning. She's smart. She scrambled, though. If she's still back here, that's bad. Break me out, break me out, Jeff. Good. Perfect 99. Bang should be coming back soon. There she is. Oh, is that the good window? Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was the perfect window. Ah, uh, she's not a look here. She's just gonna hold forward. This is too good of a setup. Yep. That's a death. You can't slow vault that or medium vault that. That's death. Oh no, is Jeff gonna just body block the hook? That'd actually be perfect. Oh, so I'll hi yo there, duck. <laughs> Jeff, don't body block. Jeff, don't body block. Jeff, don't body block. Get the heck out of my face, Jeff. Get the heck out of my face, Jeff. Oh, Jeff, you better not be finishing that gen. Oh, that's a hit for Dwight. Oh, there's the Jeff. That means the Jake or the uh, Felix was the other one. I'm sorry, but you're dead, Jeff. Oh, please finish the gen. I don't. I don't need to worry about that area now. I don't think the Dwight's going in. He might go in now because I picked up. But we really need that Felix to pick. I'm feeling the Felix picked. 
Yep, it's the Felix. It is the Felix. Oh, where are they going? They're going to Shakti Hill? Or are they just killing there? Fine with me? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fang, but like, that was too good of an opportunity to check. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, he went long. I don't really care if you break me out right now. I kind of just want to commit to this. This might be a really bad commit, by the way. Because he's got enough distance. Oh yeah, this is going to be a really bad commit, isn't this? It is when I swing too early. Oh, I didn't mean to pop the power. Oh, that didn't even need any crouching mind game. Oh, uh, that's the one thing I'm going to kind of be questioning. It's just like, do I even care about the crouch mind game? That's one thing that's going to suck. But like that, I know you can just mind game without, but it's more fun. More fun to crouch that. Like, they probably just see me anyways, but, like, it feels more fun. I'll just do this and see if she double backs. Just gonna go around like this. Actually, I should just commit forward. Bum, ba, da, bum. He's going to hold forward again. Somebody just broke totems behind me. Out of all their track. <laughs> Jeff! Not the place you need to be right now. Well, it's just amusing. It's like, what is he doing? What's the GF doing? Whoop, whoop. Nene. Nene, 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 nene. Like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that when I'm going places to places now, because I know I'm going slower than a survivor. Like, I know I'm still gaining distance, but it's like, but it's not the same. Like, I want to know that at least a survivor is not gaining on me because I'm doing that. So let's just break this. Um, unless there was two people here, so there should be a second. Hi. Come back here, Felix. I just want to love you with this knife in your back. Get back here. Oh, they finally notice that I keep doing that. <laughs> they know I never go down that. <laughs> See, I just go the other way. But I mean, that was a mixture of this guy just getting stuck, and apparently the... F what? Wait, when did the Fang DC? Did she just DC on the hook, and I never noticed? Because, bruh. Really? When did that happen? What? What? Excuse me, Fang? What happened? Fang! Fang, I love you! Come back! I don't even want to hurt you, just tell me where the doid is! Just tell me where the doid is! Where's the Dwight? Jeff, I'll let you live. I must kill the Dwight. <laughs> oh! 
Oh my god, he's gonna... You know what? You know what? No, let's just speed this up. Come on. This is gonna be like a two-minute chase. I don't feel like letting this guy sit on the ground. That just doesn't... That doesn't seem fun. Like, I want to give him it, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to sit on the ground for two minutes. Okay. Did they throw anything? Let's find you something. Where's Hatch? Hatch, Hatch, Hatch. Find the Hatch. Okay, it was a crash. I was like, I didn't do anything and that seemed off. That's why I was so confused. I was like, you're on the hook. So what happened there? But yeah, sorry that you got a crash because that's not fun. It's just a really strange crash to have. So didn't I just hear the hatch? Am I just that dumb? Is it back there? I swear I heard it. It is back here. No? Okay, Dwight, you gotta find it. Oh, there it is. Stupid trees and stuff. Because if you get one wall... If you get one wall in your way, you just can't hear the bloody thing. I mean, if you didn't need a DC pedally, that's okay. But I know, I just know some of these crashes give everybody else the, or give you the penalty, which sucks. Because like. Well, I can't say that you'd win, but it definitely hurt a lot that that game had that happen because, like, that situation completely changed. Yeah, the Jeff's running after. <laughs> no, that's the Dwight. Why is the Jeff not running? He's running the the totem build. I mean, aftercare is not bad if you don't get hooked. Like, the information is actually not that bad. It's just, I always find that that information might not be worth it. It's a, it's a weird one. Like, there's so many information perks for giving, like, telling where everybody is. That, like, aftercare is a hard one to use. I don't know. I'd almost rather run the new perk than the aftercare. Because if I'd rather need to know, or let others know where I'm at, then I need to know where they're at. But like aftercare is a weird one. Also, GG, they're metal. Okay, I'm at. I can't wait for this thing to be such a useless add on. <laughs> I already have 158 of the things. I'm not going to use them. Also, thank you for the mail. Yes, forfeit your mail. So I got a bl bloody party streamer, they can have it. I've been forgetting to throw stuff like that on. Uh, no, I got it. Wait, actually, I can level up Ghostface because I got new perks. This gives me an excuse to actually level up Ghostface for something. Because we got Sadako perks. Yeah, Sadako perks. Sadako perks that probably still not gonna run them only because I hate the RNG of scourge hooks so much I just can't rely on scourge hooks it's just such a it just seems like such a bad idea because like sure it's a really strong perk and it does the job but you're relying on RNG which is already as about as bad as ruin it's like ruin's a great perk but guess what you're relying on RNG and so with Scourge Hooks, it's like, well, you can have the greatest four spread, or you can have the worst four hooks be your 
be your per or be your ones. Like it could be one of the hooks is on the hill on a hill tile, and the hill tile is facing the the outer edge, so it's actually quite useless because you have to go around the hill to even climb for it, which means you're wasting a lot of time every time you need to do it. Or it might be an upper floor hook or something like that. It's like that's not a good hook for it to be. Like a hook or like a tangled hook being the upstairs in um, the Thomas house would be actually really bad for you because you want to when you want a hook that you'd frequently go to and not one that's just random. Or even worse, you could have a clump of them. The survivors do all the gens around the clump and then they just never stay by those hooks. So you good luck. You can't use them now. That's one thing I kind of wished. Um, Sabot or yeah, sabotage showed you is it showed you the auras of tangled hooks because I don't think it shows you different colors. It only shows you red, and I'd love it to show orange. Show orange or show white from the survivor side because I think it's perfectly fair for a perk to actually show you what the tangled hooks are. I'd actually fight you on that. I think a map per or a map or a saboteur should show you what tangled hooks are if you have them. Or should I be an actual distinction? Same with even um, clairvoyance. It's clairvoyance shows hooks, right? The survivor one for uh, Michaela. When you break a bone and you get to see stuff within 64, it shows hooks too, doesn't it? That's a bit obscure to ask, actually. Yeah, because I think, honestly, that should be a thing. So they're just going to see that this is blocked and keep going. Oh, they went the other way. Oh, then I got to catch them off guard here. Really? They're not committing? What do you mean you're not committing? What am I chasing? <laughs> what do you mean I'm chasing? Darn, they have eyes. I used to know all my obscure perks, but like, it's not my specialty anymore. But I don't really keep up with perks that are kind of useless. I could have swung for that. I'm dumb. No, she just makes it with dead hard. Or she doesn't even need dead hard. Uh, she's going to do it anyways. There it is. Wait, which on which tile was it the uh when she was slow vaulting because her hitbox actually stays there because like when you slow vault or medium vault your hitbox lingers that's what i hit her on because i mean that would look janky to hit but that's just how the game goes like this is a fast vault so i don't swing also the only reason i popped my powers i just wanted to go straight Okay, we got two different gamers. She's gonna lock herself in. Wait, she's locking herself in. When I'm, I just said she locked herself in. Oh, never mind. This is the wrong corner. I'm thinking of that corner, not this corner. Unfortunate. I don't care about you. He went too wide. I don't know why she didn't just dead her for the distance. She would have made it. Okay. You can't get around me. Apparently you can get around me. Interesting. This is my brief moment where I gotta mute.
That was a free blind if that was the Claudette healing. Or I guess it was this girl. I don't know why I thought it was the Claudette. I can trap her in. How many god pouts does she have? I think she has three here. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, that is indeed a god pallet. That that doesn't work. Time body blocks. He's got God Pallet. Yep. If she just body blocks for the full 15, yeah. I hate when people play like that. They're just sucks to cucks for no reason. Alright, I can finally unmute myself, but yeah. This game ain't crazy. And I don't get why some survivors will play like incredibly disrespectful for no reason. And it's like you can see that the person's trying not to be disrespectful, but it's like, yeah, I'm gonna be the one disrespectful. It's like they can see I don't care about them and I'm going around, and they're like, nah, I want you to tunnel me. And I'll laugh if she's just the first thing she says is like, why are you tunneling me? Why are you slugging me? It's like, well no shit. You physically throw yourself in front of me. They're very slow on the gens, but that's because this one girl only she only just goes in heals and stuff. And she's not doing gens. Outside of that one she did with everybody. I don't think she touched a single gen outside of that one. She jumped in the locker. Oh, there's no locker. That's death. You got dead hard though. Everybody has dead hard. Or not. I should get a two kill just because of how altruistic they are. 
They're not really doing gens. She should be running because she heard my power died out. Yep. He has dead heart still. Remember this. Uh, she has a safe pallet to her left. She'll throw. Mm, yep, she has the safe pallets. She makes it. Fine. Throw. That one back there is gone, so thank you. And you're dead. They don't have breakout, but she'll definitely tank the hit. You're dead on hook. I don't know why you want to do that. All right, another safe pallet, duh. Still here. This is just a stupidly long pallet. Yep. Body blocking. Interesting. Interesting. Wonder what they're doing then. I think she's BMing for some reason. Yeah. Barely. Throw the pallet. There we go. Oh, perfect. Come on. Round set. Sub round two. Sabo round two, let's go. You gotta do Sabo round two, you're not doing great here. This is the worst Sabo round two you've you've been doing all day. See, she's dead. Good Sabo round two, love. Three people can block one doorway. Okay, that's a hit. Yes, hi. Oh, she's here too. Okay. Oh, I'll get this out of the way right now. It's a good one to get. Darn. I don't really care about you. Thank you. If she didn't click, I actually didn't know if I was going the right direction. I knew she was clicking from the left, so she actually told me which direction was proper. If she knew not to click her flashlight, I actually couldn't have gotten that angle right. I probably would have actually ran on the wall. Darn. Nice. You gonna go for the unhook? Actually, who's gonna go for the door? Okay, two adrenalines. So we had two different adrenalines, which is interesting. Okay. Uh, I think this pallet's gone. Now I'll force you to throw it this way. That's enough distance. I'm not going to respect anymore. Okay. She'll hold forward. 
She'll think the door's done. Or she'll just play out. She's gonna run to the same pallet because it's super fucking safe. It's really fucking funny. Call it out. That's a hit. Four pallets throw. Yep. One's downstairs. Oh, no, she didn't. Door's probably done. Timer's up. Yep. I'm not stupid. I can see a door being done. Yeah, you just screwed yourself. Body block or her dead heart for the pallet. Right, you're the only non-dead hard user. He's still here. I just gotta find the Nancy. Or not the Nancy, um uh what's her name? There she is. I know you're not gonna actually throw the pallet. There she is. the door you're not holding a flashlight anymore it's a free pick okay that's fine I'm just gonna go close the hatch. Hmm, that's a win. But don't worry, the this girl will let me know that how it's not. Darn, she's not gonna let me get more pallet kicks. I know there's a couple still down. One, two, three. Literally, her not having dead heart killed her. If this girl had dead heart, I don't think she would ever have gotten down based on the two situations I got her. Also, oh, or not her. Uh, wait. The person I did kill have dead heart. Then what the hell did they do? And why didn't they dead heart? Why the hell did they not dead heart? I was the freest dead hard to a pallet throw in their life, and they didn't do it. Twice. That's so weird. Because they can't, they shouldn't have been adrenaline still, because that's 40 seconds, and I left them alone for well over a minute and a half. Because of this. So they just didn't know how to dead hard, I guess. Interesting. Well, for the first one. No. That wasn't the person I was chasing, though. Because when they popped the gen, it was the that girl and the and the one that escaped. Because the Unjin was the one with Adrenaline and Dead Hard. But at the end, she shouldn't have had Adrenaline still. Because, for the last hooking. Because the last hooking was well over a minute and a half. Then which girl did I hook and I'm brain farting? 
This is what happens with these characters nowadays. They have cosmetics of different colors and shit. I don't even pay attention to names anymore. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I don't even remember who I hooked half the time. Because, like, I kept calling Elodie freaking Claudette, and it's just like, that's not Claudette. What am I doing? <laughs> I wonder if this is the Jeff. Because Leon is not here to help him, so he has to help himself. Darn. Uh, Wait, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Zarina, why am I- oh my goodness. Nobody plays Elodie! <laughs> so I think- I just think Elodie's anybody. I just never see Elodie ever played. Oh my goodness. It's like how I call Azakawa a freaking uh, yellow jacket guy, because I keep forgetting his first name. Yeah, but I used to know this stuff, and I'm literally 2,300 hours in, plus in the game. Well, 23 plus whatever on my PS4 and Switch. You'd think I'd remember the names. Like, now it's Jeff, Dwight, Yunjin, and Mia. But my brain's gonna say something else. I just know it. Oh, gamer. Oh, gamer behind me, too. Okay, so I know the position of three different survivors. There was one behind me, so that means they're working on that gen. And then I got the two here running to this pallet. There's Jeff. I want him to throw the pallet. Thank you. Oh no, I'm blinded. Yeah, backing up is like the infinitely best answer because like they're either going to run past you or they're going to go for the window and both answers don't help me there. So it's better to back up because backing up at least answers one problem. There's a window here. Apparently Jeff's not interested in the windows. Dead hard. Well, that doesn't save you now. Oh, have yourself a good night or morning, depending on your time of the day. But thank you for stopping by even for a short while and also thank you for the follow. Can I please get here without being whammed? Thank you. Wait, are you AFK or are you just hunting chess? Because I just saw you. <laughs> I think she just got a flashlight. Okay. She's gonna hit the hook. Yeah. I think she just bounced landing, but still killed her. And a hook. Healing under hook. Yes, you are. Yeah, because I'm probably streaming to my usual time. Okay, Jeff, I need you to throw this other pallet. That'd make my day. Thank you. I don't really care about the hook. I just want this pallet out of the way. Darn, I got fl chain blinded. Oh, no. Actually, who's this? I think I just whack. I don't really care about trying to get the rest of that stock.
I got him. Unless he has that hard. Unfortunate. That actually worked for once. That was 99% speed. So you know what? I'll take that. So maybe there is hope for 100%. I say there might be, because I know like stretch res is no longer a thing for issue. Because people would do that, because on 4x3 it actually gives you a different camera angle. So like, as you see right now, this is 16x9. So what 4x3 does is instead of the left and right, it actually gave you the further up and down. Which let you actually see over tiles and stuff, depending for survivor. Which was absolutely stupid. But people love to give you dumb reasons of why they do it. Like, oh, it's my FPS. It's like, oh yes, because doing this isn't the answer. Because guess what? You can play this game at like 240p. So don't give me 4x3 as your answer, because that's really bullshit. They fixed it by... It, forces 16x9 resolution onto the 4x3, or you can black bars if you want. That's your answers now. And she just offed herself. Okay. He doesn't want to play. Rather die than what? Play black bars? Because you don't have to play black bars, but the black bars option is because of if you don't play by uh, with it, what it does is it cuts it off. So instead of giving you an advantage resolution, what it does is it just takes away resolution. So like, it'd still be this, but you would lose the left side and the right side. So you're not gaining anything, you're actually hurting yourself. Which I think is more fair, honestly. Or you can still have the same amount of screen that you see. That was actually not a bad attempt. Get hard. Oh, blind attempt. I think she just picked up her flashlight. I don't remember if you had a flashlight at the beginning. And I'm really bad for not looking. That's a dead hard. Nope, no dead hard. Oh, you know what? I can do this. If they run at me, I just hold. Yep. That was a Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Oh, that's his death. Yeah, she's right here. I'm not surprised. Dead hard. He wasn't moaning, but it was a good guess because of flashlights. Speaking of moaning, where's Jeff? We crawl into the corner. Yeah, he is. They are, but I'd act I actually find them okay. They're not like game breaking. They do bring a new mechanic that you have to deal with, but it's fine. They're not as annoying as they used to be though, because they used to be pure white on the screen, not that filament burn. They used to just straight up blind you on the screen. There was no remorse from them. You went long, that's the answer. That is actually the correct answer. That used to be what it was. Like, you, because flashlights also were insta blind. Like, it didn't give you that gradual burn. It was just pop. Especially if you had the old odd filament, which was faster blinding. So you could actually have insta blind, and it was instant white screen. And it was the old burn, like the, the old flashlights were even dumber. So like when I pick up and they're going for a blind, they have to time the blind in a way that it's done. It's finished 
just as I start moving. Because if I'm still in animation, I do not drop. Like, I don't drop people when my animation isn't finished, because it needs to finish. But before, it used to be buffered animations. So you could just do the blind, walk away. Get hard. But yeah, you used to have buffered animations. You could like blind somebody, walk away and go do something else. So like as soon as they finish the pickup, it'd be, it'd be a blind out. So there was nothing you can do about it. It was really easy flashlights. I don't agree or disagree with those. The idea of, of buffered imp like timing. I wouldn't disagree with that idea, especially with dedicated servers nowadays, because it used to be the killer was the host with zero ping. So like it kind of made sense that you'd want it to be on buffered inputs or not buffered, but like it goes like as soon as the animation's finished. But with dedicated servers, now you're guessing when their animation's going to properly finish because it might not be fully done on their side. And that's where it gets a little silly. They're not back here. Am I just catching them somewhere else? Or did they double back? Sorry, I'm looking on whispers to see where they went. I thought there was a second person that went in that direction. Also, this is why I like whispers, is because this situation does happen quite a bit. Evil. These hook placements suck. I still get you to the hook, but like, oh my goodness, those ho those hook placements suck. That's because there's a basement hook right there. That's not a true basement. That's the the pseudo basement. There's a real basement over there. I was right. There was somebody over there. I was like, I swear the the Dwight was there. He went far in the corner. He's he's purely in the corner. That's why I didn't see him. Because he's dedicated himself to this far corner. That's why I didn't. It went off. I forgot how deep this this ending is. Oh. Dwight. 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 Dwight, you 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 had the hatch. Dwight. Dwight. Dwight, you had the hatch. Okay, you need to wiggle fast though. Come on, you gotta wiggle fast. You gotta wiggle fast. You have to wiggle faster. Because this will kill you. This is 60 seconds and he's got a minute. I would open the door for him, but I can't, so he has to touch it. Touch the door. You need to touch it right now. Touch it. Oh my god, Dwight. Dwight, touch it. You're gonna die. Or, okay. Fine. Oh, wait, you have a key. I'm dumb. You have a key. Use the key, Dwight. Use the, t use the key. Right, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Use the key. Use the key. Yeah, you're actually gonna die if you do no way out, so use the key. It's actually too late for him. It's two minutes. The door to open is 16. Use it. Ah, that's what the new animation looks like. Because it used to be it's an instant it used to be an instant open, but now you actually have to channel it. And by channel I mean like a little bar that goes across, so. Yeah, because as soon as the Dwight didn't touch the door immediately, that was going to kill him because it, it was going to be too tight. I think the strat actually would have been to 
let him touch the door, immediately down him, let him sit there, drop, and pick him up. I think that would have been the only way to get him out in time, just because how little time was left. Because as soon as you let it hit the first thing, that's really, really tight. Do, 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 do. Put it in. Oh yeah, we need to uh, finish up Ghosty. And every other killer, because I gotta update everybody. And this is about uh, 3 million... Yeah, this is like a 3 million blood point grind, by the way. Because I gotta do it on everybody again. So like, every killer I've quote-unquote finished, I have to redo. Because I have to get all these three perks on them. Okay, they are all ready. I might as well just ready. If they weren't ready, that would have just spent blood points until I saw the fourth ready up. And we got an Ormond. I haven't had Ormond today. I wouldn't mind Ormond. Yes. Who let the owls out? Who? Oh, who? 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 Who let the owls out? Who? 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 Yeah, I can hydrate. Not with this coffee, though. <laughs> that's that's cold enough now. <laughs> Was any of them a console gamer? Gosh, this is taking forever for the load. So it wants everybody loaded in, and usually it's a console player for why it takes forever. Or Wi Fi. Yeah, there is a console player. It's this person. Also, why did we get RPD? Pain. Pain. Especially a Switch gaming, like Switch gaming takes forever for the load. Oh, that's a leave. I'm not even going to go check this half. Like if Whispers ain't on, I'm not checking. You have no idea how tempting it is just to sit here. No, the stupid invisible wall. No, they're going to infinite me on this room. It's so great and interactive. I'm just going to kick it. Let's be real. And then she just holds to the next room. Ant correct answer. Yo, did I make the correct read? Yes, I did. Are you serious? I made the correct read, but I didn't think she just would go straight. That's unfortunate, because she's already out. And I think I just stuttered, because I swear I went around that wall, but okay. Wow, I love she just made the whole fucking loop. That's fun. Oh, sorry, I didn't even realize that. Give me a second. Come on, finish it in front of me. I dare you. Are you just gonna dead heart for this window? No. I'll just throw him right here. Thank you. I'll take a down for that.
Oh no, boiled over. Oh, I didn't see this hook. So thank God they added a hook in the library, because boiled over was stupid. People bring this map intentionally. I'm just gonna wait till you hit under the pallet and then I'll swing. A free pallet as well? Why would you ever give me that? Oh, what happened before? People would just go into the library, stand on the... Go up to the third floor and they'd say, hook, try to hook me, I dare you. Which you couldn't, because boiled over currently what it does is every time you... Well, sorry, what it did back then, they actually nerfed it was it would instantly fill the struggle bar 25% for each fall and you had to do two falls so that's already 50% of the struggle before you can even like get any progress in and the nearest hook was always like about three quarters worth of a struggle bar I would say about oh man this is so boring but yeah so basically they would struggle out and then they immediately walk run back up to the library because they know you can't do anything about it so they just say well she didn't know that was the basement she just thought it was a way to run <laughs> so many people don't know what the basement looks like in this map because it has unique stairs like look at this this is actually unique this is the same but like the the walkway down is actually different like look at this it has this nice unique wall instead of a the curve up it has this which is really nice it's the nicest basement. I might just camp this one out. It's very tempting. I should probably pop my power if I'm going to do it, though. Yeah, I'll just pop my power and stay around. Not with me. I don't really have interest going back to the room. Okay, that's one. Oh, hey, I can hear a boon on the second floor. Too bad I can't go get it. It's the second floor. I'm just gonna wait till she hits second state, and then I'll leave. Because I feel very confident with this. Yep. Yeah. Because they're gonna think I'm just committing to camping. At this point, I don't really gain too much, so I might as well leave it. This map is uh, very survivor sided, if played right. Thankfully, there's no pallet in this room anymore, so she's just dead. Like, Nurse is going to have a rough time because this map is just full of mini rooms. Like, all like all these rooms to run into have so much garbage, and she needs line of sight, which is, this map is just none. Uh, Blight, who's also good. He can't deal with this because of small doorways. Oh, please self-care. Yes, thank you. You just... No, screw you. Thank you for telling me where you were at, though. Wow, that timing. Unfortunate. If I had her half a second, that was the freest pickup in death. Because I saw her healing herself, so I would have just picked up. Hmm, no. Nah, this is a free kill. I'll take it. You know what? No, I'll go back. You know what? Let's go back. There we go. That's the angle. She's about to hit second. That's the angle I can see if they pick up. She can actually break me up from this angle, by the way, but I don't think she knows I'm right here. Yeah, she must not know. 
And I think they're below me. So I'm listening. Sorry, I'm listening for footsteps. You know, by self carrying in front of me, I'm just going to kill you, right? Wow, this person is so lucky. Yeah, these people, this person's so lucky to have teammates that aren't stupid. It's like, holy shit. That person's the stupidest person in the world. They literally healed right in front of me. Like, good teammates save stupid people so much, it's insane. I always appreciate when a good map saves dumb people, too. It's like, they're being cocky because they got the stupidest map for it. Like, she's dead on hook. But she can get away stupid because of the map. Let's see how many body block though, because Circle of Healing is still in play. There's no- I get no pressure out of hitting people. They thought about it. They're like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna unhook you in front of you, because I can do that. Dead. Sadly, the circle healing's not out of play because I'm pretty sure it's on the Michaela. Let's see what Jen's being worked on though, because I can probably stop it. Probably this one? No. She's second state. Uh, the Fang, I'm not too sure. I don't think she hit it. Actually, she did hit it, because I, I count four hooks. I'm going to say she's coming out of this door. I don't have to even go bugger. Don't worry, there's a BT in play and probably a DS as well. Hey look, she has adrenaline. Wow. Touch the door, get the no. This person's dead on hook. Throws and leaves, because they can do that now. Wow, I hate scratch marks on this map. Flashlight, because you're dead. I think she thought this door was done. Oh my goodness, these hooks suck. Yeah, there comes the body block, because they know. I could still make it. I just need her not to be there. I'm, or not? Okay, they just have something good on them. Just casually has something else on them. You know this works too, right? I just couldn't hook this way, but I can hook this way now. Ooh, unfortunate. They didn't know this is the hook I'm going to. This 
gamer is injured. I also have a hook up here. Oh yeah, nice try on the locker. <laughs> yep, she's got the door. That's fine. No dead hearts, but all adrenalines. That's interesting. Only one DS as well. But even if you only have one DS in play, I don't know why healing in under the hook is the greatest idea ever. Because, like, all it takes is one person to say no. And then suddenly you're back on the hook and you're just like, why? And it's like, well, maybe don't do actions in front of the killer. Because that Nancy coming out of nowhere, the saver, was like the only play. Because she would have just been under the hook and dead. Or at least sitting on the second hook, which would have been really bad for her for no reason. Like, okay, Circle of Healing just happens to be there, but like, you can do it by the pallet, you can do it by the vaulting point. You can do it literally anywhere else, but right under the hook, okay. Alrighty. No way though, it's such a good perk. It stops the dumb situation of, oh, we've prepared the door. Now to go body block and go open the door. Because at least it gives me an extra minute. Because I'll die by the philosophy of there's no point of trying any gen per gen defense because it'll never work and you'll just get angry when it doesn't. Up goes the weasel is great, but when you don't get the opportunity, you just hate life. Same with Ruin. Ruin just goes dead. Like, oh, nice, your Ruin died in a minute. Now you're playing on RNG. Heck, even like this, which is an interesting... Oh, sorry, not that. Merciless Storm, like, oh, it's a cool gen blocking thing. Because it starts skill checks, but it's like, okay, then what if the survivor actually knows how to hit skill checks? It's like, okay, then it's useless. This gets stupid with Doctor, though, because Doctor can reverse the skill checks and give you random ones, and it actually does change. Because normally the skill checks, it's like a really fast spinning in a circle with a really big black bars that you hit. Like, instead of, like, the skill check that survives normally get, with, like, a little piece of white, it's just a big... It's just a circle with a bit of black on it, and instead of stopping and starting a new skill check, it keeps going. But with Doctor, I guess it uh, it just puts it somewhere else on the screen, or it might even change the direction, which gets a little stupid, because that's what Doctor does at Tier 2 or Tier 3 for Madness. Or, I mean, uh, Tier 1 and Tier 2, is it has a chance of giving you one of three things. A, um, normal skill check, reverse skill check, or skill check somewhere else on the screen. So, like, instead of center screen, it might be on the bottom left or bottom right. So, like, you kind of have to pay attention to where it goes. But with Merciless Storm, I think it just keeps the bar going, but it puts it somewhere else. So suddenly you're like, you have to really pay attention. And Or you can just let go of the gen, but which all it does is blocks it and blows, it blows up the gen for some progress, which isn't anything crazy. And that's one time, too, so it's like, okay... Just 99 the gen and do it anyways, and then you just finish the gen later. It's a weird one, because it's like, it it has potential. I don't think it's bad, it's just the current meta says that it's not a good perk because there's just better perks. Okay, there's their ping stabilizing. I was going to say, holy cricky, that's some high ping. 150 ping, you're just asking for a bad game. <laughs> They're in over here. Yep, they are. OK, 
Okay, they haven't seen me. Mmm, they tried. I would have lost that if they actually came away around. I didn't even realize there was a person nearby. Okay. Gamer, gamer, gamer. Gamer. Gamer back here, though. I saw some orange. There they are. Holy crikey, you let me have so much stock there. Is he a hold forward gamer? Oh, never mind. I don't even have to guess that. I can just leave him and come back later. Nice. Okay, where's the vaulting point on this version? Where's the good window? Where's the good window? What? Was he still dying on hook? Did he just see that they weren't coming and he just dipped? What? 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 Excuse me? Wait, 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 wait. I think I know what's happening. Ghostface is glitched. I'm starting to think Ghostface is glitched. That's the second DC in regards to Exposed. I can't play Ghostface tonight. I think there's an Exposed glitch. I don't know what's happening. It's something to do with desyncing on the Exposed. Because that's the second time that's happened on an exposed hit. Okay, that's that's really bad. I think I just let them have the game. If this person comes in, I'm definitely asking. Because that means Ghostface has a desync problem. I'm gonna hit you, and if you desync, if somebody else desyncs, then that answers my question. Because I think that's what happened. They were on hook, and I hit somebody when they're down. That's a throw. Left. Death. No. Oh. I thought that extended rock actually screwed me. Yeah, that has to be a glitch. But I don't think they have a reason to do it. Right? It's, I don't know. I guess I have to stop playing Ghostface for the night, though. I can't. I can't play it and just have people desync like that. That's not fun for anybody. Like I love Ghostface, but like I can't have people doing that. That's not fun. <laughs> I tried to get the. I tried to get the early input of the pallet break, and I got the window or the uh, locker. I think we're gonna play Hunters or something else then. I don't even care if you get the unhook, just go for it. Actually, I can answer my question right now. Bang. Bang, I need you for an experiment. Bang, I need you for an experiment. Bang, I need you for an experiment. Don't don't unhook yet. Don't unhook yet. I need to know if this is a glitch. This is a serious one. This is one that actually needs to be reported. No? Not desynced yet. Not desynced yet. But they died. Ah. 
Huh. I'm 90% certain it's a decent care, but what causes it with Ghostface? What the hell causes it with Ghostface? I'll just do this chase anyways. Yeah, he's just gonna leave. Now it's to the left. Oh, it's to the right. Oh, it's not the vault point. That's just the falling. Um, uh, no, no. I think that was the work of Bloodlust, not my power. Yeah, like, what's the point of doing Ghostface power here? Of crouching. Because, like, I can get the same effect without having to crouch. Okay, Fang. Fang, you have one job. No. No. Don't don't you dare pick him up. No. Yes. Yeah, just let him die. I just want to go next. Dude, I know you probably are one of the ones who threw the, ex the escape cake, but please. Oh my goodness. I don't want you. You didn't respect my request. You didn't respect my request. You didn't respect my request. You die. <laughs> Oh my goodness. He's just gonna unhook in my face, right? I can't let you both out. I don't feel like wasting three minutes to do it. Well, actually five minutes to do it. Fine. You can unhook, but you have to die for it. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't really want to wait... Four to five minutes for the gens, and then the one minute for the door, um, unless they let me get to it first. Oh, it's so awkward. Such an awkward game, and I, it's like... I don't think any of the three deserve to lose it when it's a decent error. And all I can say is I really hope it's fixed with the PTB. Because if that continues, we got a problem. I mean, the chase music is already a problem, but uh, I don't need two problems on hand. Because that gives me definitely a reason to quit Ghostface, which sucks. Because I don't want to quit Ghostface, but I'm definitely going to stop if he has a decent care. Well, it's because of the original coding is just spaghetti code. They they didn't really care to optimize it. And then they because originally it was just what it was and then it got really popular. And then they were told to keep working on it. So 
stuff breaks all the time because it's spaghetti coding that was never optimized for DLC in mind. Because the original game was just this, or these three. They never had any plans of adding killers and stuff. And then it got popular. So then they started adding killers. So the first they added, I believe, was the nurse. And then they added Myers. Hunters wasn't in play yet. So it was these four, then Myers. And Myers was the one that really blew up because it was the first licensed killer. Like, holy crap. Like, that's crazy. Like, getting a big name movie killer in the game. And then they got Hag, Doctor, and then they finally got some more killers. Because this is this is basically all in order of release. It's just I don't remember if Hunters actually came out before Myers or if they came out about the same time. That's the only one that feels weird to me for placement. But otherwise, this is all in order. This is exactly the order of stuff came out. Because when I started, it was all up to this. Clown wasn't in yet. Or, well, actually, I shouldn't say that. I think Clown just came out when I got into the game. Yeah, because the spirit came, which was dumb, and had her problems. Legion was awful to deal with until he got nerfed three times. Lang never actually had to get nerfed, which is kind of funny. Ghostface had to get buffed like crazy. Demogorgon never really got touched up. Like, his add-ons got... Quality of life fixes, but that's about it. Um, Oni changed from his PTB pretty big because he was a slug machine rather than a pickup. Because it used to be that he lost all his power for picking up, so you would never want to pick up because you got punished for it. So people would just slug with this power until it's all out and then come back to pick up, which was a really bad. It's a really bad playstyle to encourage because Twins has that issue as well. But Twins has that issue because it's a Victor. Or because of Victor himself. Because it's like you don't want to leave Victor alone. You want to keep using him until you don't have control of him, basically. But we got to find a killer to play that's not Ghostface, because we can't continue on. <laughs> what do I have for my dailies? That might answer my question. Okay, we got Myers. We can do Myers. Myers sounds good. Oh yeah, and um, Haddonfield rework. I actually really dig it. The, ho I, uh, the House of Pain is... Uh, I'm assuming it's glitched right now. Because it spawns with two pallets in the basement, which is disgusting. And that's one thing with Haddonfield that's weird. So, with the generation right now, it will have five buildings open, and it will randomly have a sixth building open. Which is weird. And the sixth building is the House of Pain. Which is... And the reason why it's called the House of Pain is because it's, it used to be one of the worst loops and you would have to just give up chase. It was just not worth doing. Because the loop was so strong. And they made it in a way that's actually not as bad. But the problem is with it is that it has three pallets in the building rather than one. So they got rid of the stupid side windows that made the loop really dumb. But they added two extra pallets into it. But I think one of the pallets is a mistake. I just realized something and that blows my mind. I wonder if that House of Pain is supposed to be a basement building too. That would actually be huge. If they reworked the House of Pain to actually have a basement, that's insane. Because that's something I never noticed on the PTB. If there was another basement spawn. I don't think there was. I think it was only the, the Strode House, which is how the game used to be. Oh, did they throw a map offering? Because it's kind of whatever with Myers. Because I'm playing Brute Force. Or are you talking about the Haddonfield? Because the Haddonfield rework actually has quite a few tiles I actually enjoy playing. The one thing that's misleading, though, is the new window design. Because the new windows and the windows that you can actually vault are so similar looking that it's really hard to tell if you're not paying attention. Because they have that window design where it has, like, the two squares. And the open windows has the, it just one square, but lifted up. But like, if you're not paying attention, you might not notice that it's not lifted up and run into it because it, the upstairs only has one vaulting point. 
Or at least I think it only had one vaulting point. There's another loop I actually really enjoyed they added, which I might draw later, which has a breakable wall, which is a cop out, but like I think it's actually a really cool loop to actually leave alone. Yeah, Dead Dogs is perfectly fine because I can stalk through the bushes. And because I'm playing Brute Force, I can just get rid of this right now. Douche, douche. Oh, we can break all this right now. I don't even care. Wait, somebody's doing a chest? You are? I heard the lock shifting. Oh, thank you. Please give me free stock from down below. Oh, good, you learned. Dun 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 4% pickup speed, too, because we got one stack. Stacks. Stacks. We got the stacks. 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 We are the stacks. We are the stacks. Aw, oh, bold gamer up there. Oh, never mind. I thought I saw a gamer. No, I'll break this right now. <laughs> She's gonna go over there and get see the entities blocked it. Oh my love, that's a dead end. Yeah, that's a dead end version. What did you expect? <laughs> if that door's open, this window ain't open. That's how they designed this loop. Or this, uh, section. That was a random generation that they changed for no reason. No, you're right here. Oh, you're super dead. Douche, douche. Brute Force Myers, go, go, go. We gotta go. We gotta go, Neom. Neom. Neom, 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 Neom. Look a little faster. Neom. They do have variations in what changes. So, like, certain things. The certain things that usually don't change are the shack tile and the main building. Because the main building will sometimes have different generations of what can happen in it, but they won't have, like, 100% different generations. I'll just do that for now. But on this map, this, the generation is very stable. And by that, I mean, like, a lot of the stuff doesn't change. Very few stuff on this map actually changes. Like, the generation of pallets will change, but all these buildings won't. These buildings are always the same, but the, uh, the pallets around them might change up. Yes, please do that, because I'm just going to... Vault with my fast speed. Oh, I'm even faster now. Let's go. We're <laughs> Force Myers. Sorry for how fast I'm going. It's 20% uh, evil 3, 15% with the bamboozle, and then uh, an extra 12 for the vault speed. So I was going 40% uh, faster than my normal vaulting. So like, Myers books it, he doesn't care. 
And then the same with that. That well, not breaking speed, but wait, they're right here. There they are. Nyo, nyo. Oh, we got the life gamer. Oh, she ran back in. She shouldn't have been hit by that. Oh, that almost screwed me over. The faster pickup almost gave him that. Because he was mistiming his blind. Douche douche. Wait, gamer. Uh-uh, get back here, gamer. I'm actually going to leave that. Oh, or which hit? <laughs> oh, like if I'm holding somebody and you, your lunge speed is trash or lunge distance, I mean, and that's intentional. Like, you're not supposed to have a long lunge if you're carrying somebody. Oh. Death. Death. Time to die. <laughs> Here comes the death heart, though. <laughs> nope, never mind. He definitely would have made it, though. They didn't leave themselves the greatest three gens here. Plus, I love they're not healing. Yes! It's because she's slow vault- or er, slow- yeah, she slow vaulted that. That's the only reason. Technically, all matches are ranked. Everything is based on a hidden elo, and you're matched against it. But every one of my killers are different. So, like, Myers might be much lower in hidden MMR than my other killers. So, like, this game might feel easier because it might actually be. But nobody really... People have an idea of what it might be for what it ranks off of. But right now they're kind of testing the waters for changing it up. Unless I get her with Bloodlust. Because what people think it is, and what I think it is too, is it's based off of kills and nothing else. It used to be based off your grade system, or your, based off your rank. And rank is the color for like doing, well, pips. Which is why I always talk about pips as the system, because that's what it used to be. It just used to be tracking via pips. And the pip system, while well, it wasn't great, was a system. It wasn't anything crazy. Ah, oh, she's done. Dang it. I need to find that Jake. I have to find the Jake, because I don't have stock. There's the Jake. What? What do you mean you don't want to try to pallet blind me? Possible. Oh my goodness. He's gonna dead hard for this and he's gonna get it too. This is so unfortunate. He's going dead hard right now. Too late. And the only reason that was too late is because she doesn't know the timing of fire up. 
Or too early, I mean. Because they knew I had fire up, but they just couldn't get the timing. And to answer the question of can you be the worst is technically yes you can be the worst, but there's a floor ceiling and a floor and a floor in the elo. Like if you're so out of the range of the outlier, it will actually just throw you into whatever because it can't find you anything after a while. Because actually that's what I forgot. I forgot paint. I can talk about two things right now. Let me just get my paint up, though. There we go for paint. So for the ELO, you kind of have your too high and your too low. Because the matchmaker will try to find you. Find you something. And if you're, say, like 3,000, but there's a soft cap it has of like 1,800. So if it can't find you people, it will just search you around this rather than way out here, which is what can happen. And then it happens down here as well, where you're so bad that it just gives you anything because it just can't find you people that are so bad or quote unquote bad. But I would argue that the killer side is really hard for the ELO because it's not it's not really a number case. It's a case of how many kills are you getting and the most common isn't zero. It's not zero. It's actually one. It's one or two. And then you got your 4K gamers. But because this is what people assume is that it's it, it is the ELO is based off of is kills. And it's really easy to confirm one kill. You have to do a lot to screw up the fail and not get one kill. So really the starting ELO is one. I mean, to answer your question, I'm Aeros, but uh, other than that, GG's if you're from my game. And hopefully you have yourself a good night. I'm not really allowing that sentence. Brute force. Oh, I'm still on the paint. Actually, if I'm still on the paint, I can talk about that that thing from the Haddonfield change. Because on the Haddonfield change, there's this shack that has a window here, a breakable door here. Do this. There's a breakable door, a weird hedge that goes like this. Or, no wait, sorry. It goes like this for the hedge. Then there's another hedge like this. And it feels like such a cop-out that there's this breakable door right here. Because there's so much line of sight blocking in this whole tile that you can mind game the crap out of this. And it's like the greatest weird little tile that they've ever generated. And, and it's like, it's great. And like, who cares that there's this little hedge over here that just adds another f element to it. And I think that's perfectly fine. But I know they're going to leave this breakable door in it. And it's kind of unfortunate because I think it's perfectly fine as is. It might suck for a 110 killer, but I think as a 115, it's the it's probably one of the most fair tiles I've actually seen in a long time that don't involve a pallet. Because like Hawkins, I like the idea of Hawkins, but Hawkins fails as a design because of Bloodlust existing in the game. And that tile I'm talking about actually works it even in Bloodlust if you play it outright. But then they said no, let's just add this breakable door. Also, thank you, Leo. Hey, my hat. Fine, fine, no hats. But the mask stays on if I'm doing Myers. <laughs> Brute Force Myers is so cheeky. It's not great, but it's so cheeky. 
technically the way of doing it is with um, infinite tier three, but nobody likes infinite tier three, which is understandable. Because there's not much gameplay to it. It's just as straightforward as it sounds. It's infinite tier three. You just do what tier three things do. Because tier three Mars does have a longer lunge too. And he technically moves faster, I think. I don't know if he moves 115 or if he moves a tiny bit faster. But I do know Evil 1 Mars moves at 110. Or 105, I think. Which is why I'm just stalking as is. I can break this and still get her for evil 2. There we go. Oh no. Actually, I'll just walk forward. Okay, love, where are we going? I see you to go on through the corn. Corn is indeed an element in play. I can stalk through corn. But it's not really worth it here. Honestly, yeah, I get you. That's a hit. Is there a cart loop with that? Because that's a disgusting window if there is. That's a hit. Dead hard. <laughs> and... And on the hook to you. Did it really bother you that I didn't answer the question that you wanted, so you changed the wording? Because that's actually really funny to me, because I literally answered your question. But since you're so eager to make that your question, that's my answer. I've already answered it. Actually, how much stock are you at? Actually, that's good enough to leave for later. Just need to make sure she's good for a pop, because I know she's going to heal up. So I love that there's three Claudettes. I'm not really sure, but I don't know why they're angry. Because they still won. Because all that Jake really had to do was just go look for the hatch. Where's the other clod at? I saw one. Touching this one. I think they're working on this one still. I wouldn't be too surprised. Where are we at? We're at four pistons. They did finish that. What gen would they want to work on next? Probably this one and this one, right? No, really? Are they going for the unhook? I was right, so that's one. There they are. I'm just gonna hit. Or I'm not gonna hit it. Okay. Okay, there's the Atom. That's a free stock. Yeah, that's a free stock and leave. Because he has enough distance to make the cow shed. And the cow shed, while I can brute force it, there's just a waste of time. There's nothing over there. Are you really going to self-care? Against the Myers. Are you sure? Are, are you sure? You have at least dead heart. Yes, you do. Oh, boy. Do, 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 do. 
Da, da. Bounce? Dead. Interesting choice. You know what? I'm just gonna use the same hook. Don't mind me. Make way, make way. Oh yeah, I have a Twitter. That's how I've been uh, telling people if I'm doing bonus streams. So it's usually a Saturday one, if anything. The opportunity of day doesn't really happen as much as I like, and even when I do have a day off, it's like usually something else is happening, or... You're gonna commit to this corner? <laughs> Jeez. I'm actually surprised she didn't just hide until the power went away. Uh, a little iffy if they could have made this. Like, I didn't see that there was another pallet back here, but that's a really iffy one to make. Was that an early lever? Yes, it was. I love crows. I'm going to hit you about half. Thank you. I love the Adam. He's just like, nope, I'm not going for her. How high your pace? How does the night fare for you? Mm, throw, yeah. Dead. <laughs> that would have been so unfortunate if he had adrenaline. To the door! And then maybe do this, because they might have spine chill, which would explain why they keep hiding. Ooh, the door. Oh, never mind. I see the Michaela. That works too. This pallet's gone. You're just kind of dead. Bum, bum, bum. I should double check that door, though. Yes, there's a person. There's a gamer. Ooh, do I have enough time? I don't think I do. Oh, never mind. I do. I definitely do. No, the timing was so bad. I mean, I interrupted her, but I'm pretty sure the Michaela's is going to get up. Yep, there she is. Body block. Any body blockers? Blockers of the bodies. Uh, we're going to just assume that door is done just because they add them. I don't... Yep. Door's done. Question is, are all three there? Probably. Yeah, they're all there. I can see the girl already halfway there. Might as well just break all this. Imagine if I had Tombstone, and they actually let me stalk, and I just just freaking bopped one. That would have been so funny. Let's see if they let me actually super close. Yeah, that girl I could have just bopped if I if I had it, which would have actually been really funny. But yeah, map offering with four, three dead ards? Eh, whatever. Oh, I didn't even see the hell about you. Honestly, it hasn't been really that bad. I mean, one group randomly being mad, but I don't get why they're mad at Brute Force Myers. I mean, you can beat this. This isn't like... This isn't oppressive. This is just throwing pallets early. It's like playing against clown. And I like I'm not even joking. This is literally like playing against clown. You just throw you just throw pallets early if you have to, or you don't leave the pallet. 
That's the one thing I see people do all the time. They see the enduring and then they still leave the pallet and then they die and it's like, what did you expect? There's so, I've seen so many people leave a loop and not even like look to see if they have enduring or if they're even going to start to break the pallet. Cause like if they're not breaking the pallet, you're going to die. Especially if they have enduring. Because Enduring just completely ruins short tiles. Which is so cheeky. But in terms of matchmaking for Ghostface, it was pretty good. So I had to stop playing Ghostface because I think he has a desync error. Because I've had two different people desync when I'm doing exposes. When somebody's on a hook. So I had one person come and say that their, thing, their game crashed. But they didn't get a DC penalty. And then I had another person do it as well. Which is why I decided to stop playing Ghostface, because I think he has a crashing error. And that's not fun for anybody. I want free wins, sure, but that's not fun. Wait, wait, what's my other daily? Yo, we got a Sabo? I'll go change that out. We got... Mm, Leatherface. Let's do Leatherface, then. Where is it? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> My favorite Legion skin is actually the one that you saw that he had on. Or I guess I didn't show it. It's that, um, the black hoodie with the lock on side. That's probably my favorite Legion skin. My favorite knife is the one that came with the, uh, the contest one that, the broken shard glass. I mean, why not play with the suit? The suit's the best. I'm not really a fan of the makeup mask, but I just like his normal face. I am excited for the new music, though. Because, like, Legion's not bad. He's not great, but he's not bad. A lot of people get mad about Legion, but it's just like, Legion's nothing crazy. You just gotta play the game like you get one, one shot. Like, that's about it. Unless they're playing with the pink, um... The iridescent, uh... Pin. Because that's when it gets to be problematic, because they're just going to break the pallet in front of you by vaulting and then immediately cool down. And the cooldown's faster now. So, like, I can see that being annoying, but I mean... Otherwise, it's just a case of, oh no, he gets a hit on you. So you just gotta play safer. He has the same issue with, like, um, Plague, honestly. I have not seen a pyramid head in ages. I'm gonna say no. I think an artist outperforms a pyramid head so much better because she's 115 and she gets the pressure of the entire map rather than just the area that they're at. Because she gets to throw birds at the whole at every gen on the map for free for information. And if you don't leave the gen to, or take off the birds, which is wasting time and giving her free time, then you get a free injury, which is even better. Because who doesn't want free injuries across the map? It's so stupid. Or even worse, she just puts down two crows and suddenly you can't play the loop, and that's so obnoxious. At least with, like, a leather face putting down a freaking bamboozle, at least you still have the pallet to throw down. But with artists, it's just like, lol. Pallet? Lol. Not, I don't care. Dead Man's Switch on artists is disgusting, but... Artist is the one killer I'm leaving alone at 40. She's not fun to play as or play against, so I don't, like... I don't even want to play her. Sadako is kind of more or less the same, but more that she just sucks. Oh wait, I'm so dumb. What? Did he just go wide around me? Oh, he was slow vaulting. That's why I was so confused. Okay, so uh, he, they're asking about the new killer. Or that killer that you're like, oh, this killer's new? That's what they're asking about. But they're asking for a perk that's really strong. Because Dead Man Switch is a perk that when you hook somebody, if somebody gets off a gen... Ugh. 
This man do not care. This man do not care. Give me your pallet. Wait, this is the wrong side for the pallet. Give me the pallet. Give me the pallet, sir. Thank you. Going. I might need four chainsaws, but uh, I'm not going to throw to try to get that one there. But yeah, Dead Man Switch blocks gens for the, the duration of the cooldown, which is 35 seconds. Oh, I think it's 35 seconds for the blocking. I love she would have just died if I was playing normal chainsaw. Could have got her. <laughs> that would have been the first time I could have actually gotten her, but I wasn't prepared to drop the charge. Nice. Nice. Does she make the pallet anyways? No, she doesn't. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to this game, because, I mean, there's literally eight pages of perks now, which is insane. Or, sorry, seven pages. It was just on the edge of six. And each page has 15 perks. So, that's a lot of perks we're talking about. Who's going to be the first to die here? I know there was, like, somebody right here. And then there was this guy, which I don't think was the Jake. Was it the Jake? Oh, it was the Jake. You're dead. Die. <laughs> Not enough invincibility frames because he was still on the on the vault there. Sorry, I'm playing with an add-on. That gray one you see over there. Yeah, with the tooltip you can at least see what the perks do. I don't, I don't think it shows the add-ons. Because the pink one, what it does is when I get a hit, it gives me all my charges back. But the gray one is making it so... My chainsaw isn't an insta down. See, like that. Like, it's taking two hits to down them. So they have a time period where they can get away. So the cheekiness of this build is that I get the hit, but then I still fall with the chainsaw because I get the three charges back. Are you right here? Yeah, you are. You're dead. I'm sorry, love. You can't, Pip. The bubs wants a sacrifice. Papa needs stacks. Need the stacks. We need the stacks. Give me stacks. 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 This is the stack. Ah, oh, Jake's still on that, isn't he? Yo, who's over here still? Bounce landing, gamer! Oh. I didn't even realize we're at one gen. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, I've been pushing gens hard. I'm just messing around. And she touched the gen anyway, so she dies. There we go. Do do do. Go through the window. Oh my goodness, if she didn't get caught, I would have got her. Holy crap. I think she would have just gotten the last swing. Holy crap, keys. I can't believe I got away with that. 
Strawberry jam. That's like, did I just see somebody go in the locker? <laughs> uh, I think there's a pallet here. Ow. I mean, if you're leaving, I might as well just leave with you, right? Strawberry jam is a weird one, because it's like, I don't mind it. But if you're going to offer me, like, peanut butter or strawberry jam, I'm probably going to take the peanut butter. Like, when I'm at a hotel or something. Good timing. Most people don't know the timing, and it's just in between the swings. But the problem is, sometimes if you try to go for in-between swings, you get screwed. Ah, oh, this man's going for the long long. I don't got time for that. Wait, did he just vault back in? Yeah, he did. <laughs> I'm not enough. I don't really care for the jelly. Just jellies in general. I don't really care. Like, like I don't mind them. It's just not my preference. Man, this man's going miles. All right, we got one back here. Do we still have two people back here? Yes, we do. <laughs> this is so criminal. Okay, where, where'd she go? I'm just gonna open the door. <laughs> no, she is unbreakable! She's tryharding, how dare you! I was gonna let you all go anyways! No, get back here! No! I want the feeling of satisfaction here! Okay. Come on. Come on, get out of the game. Come on, get out, get out. All you get out. <laughs> Come on, Jake. Oh, awesome, they're doing slug race. Let's go. Come on. In position. And go. Oh, yes, yes. Go, my sluglies. Go. Yes. Go, Slugly, go. Go, Sluggers, go. Yes. That was such an oh no. Just like... The guy probably thought the door was finally done. Because <laughs> he never had the opportunity to see it. Yeah, the two dead hearts is always funny against this because it's just like they dead heart for the distance, but sometimes it doesn't matter. Man, I remember when this thing was limited to eight seconds. It was so brutal. Or at least I thought it was eight seconds for the max. This five second tantrum is insane. And the reason why it says limited to five is because every charge actually adds a time duration of tantrum. So there is another perk that actually does let you have one more charge of tantrum. Or, I mean, one more charge. Because your tantrum is when you hit something. Because when you hit something, he goes... Rrr, rrr, and basically you've keeps swinging mail. over and over against wherever he got stuck. You've got mail. Oh, thank you for the follows. And hello. And I'll hi you. I am Sarah the L. I usually play Ghostface, but uh, he, seems have, uh, he seems to have a uh, glitch right now, I think. Or at least that's my theory. I think he has a decent care right now with his exposed status. Because I've had two different people on a hook. And then I expose somebody else and whack them, and then the person on the hook DCs. Which is really weird. I've never seen that. Because the one guy came in and actually told me they crashed. But it, it wasn't their side of the crash, it said I crashed. Which is strange. And then the other person never came in. 
I just said, screw it, I'm not playing Ghostface anymore. I'm just playing whatever's on my dailies, which was apparently is Twins next. <laughs> Ew. I kind of want to reroll that, actually. Also, you're welcome. I just thought it was kind of funny. Everybody was in the corner, and I was just like, yeah, that's a GG. That was just a very, really, really unfortunate situation. I don't really want to confirm it, though, because it's just, it's not fun. I don't think anybody has fun when a person DCs. Especially if it's super early on, because that's when I'm usually getting it. Because I'm getting it usually as my second or third hook. Because I usually 99 somebody and then find the person I 99 later. Yo, I finally did the exposed challenge, though. I didn't even realize I finished it. Yo, double ash. The ashes can have the cake. Also, I can turn off this over. Actually, no, I'll leave the overlay on. I, I kind of forgot that I need another black bar here. One that covers the powers, though. Actually, let me put two random grays so you don't have to see that. Yeah, there we go. That's the thing I forgot to do before the stream today. I forgot to add a little black bar to, or at least um, make a second capture thingy over here to kind of deal with my overlay. They actually do, yes. They all have their own three perks that are teachables. They used to be locked behind the survivor themselves, but then they changed that a while back because otherwise you'd only be seeing one survivor. You wouldn't be seeing this wide diversity. Because, like, for example, Dwight has the perks Bond, Prove Thyself, and Leader. Those are his three teachables, but when you pick him as a brand new survivor, he'll have all three of those level one. And those are the three perks he always knows that you can level up in the web, in addition to the common pool perks, which are perks that everybody knows at the beginning of the game. Because you go through the blood web picking perks, but there are certain perks that are common pool, and then you have your three teachables. But as soon as you reach level 30, 35, and 40, you can select the ability to teach their perk to other survivors. So that's how come you'll see perks from, oh, this is from David, this is a perk from Claudette, this is a perk from Elodie, stuff like that. It's because people have leveled up their survivors to 40 to get their teachables, and then they go back to another survivor and put it on them. But you have to go find it in the blood web still. So Because all, all it does is it unlocks the perk to show up in the blood web, it doesn't actually guarantee the perk to show up. But a perk will always show up in the web if there's a perk that can be learned. Which is why I like leaving three perks alive. Or leaving... Or when I get my three teachables, I immediately go back. Because I know those three will show up in the blood web at level 50. Because it tries to show four web... Or four perks. Because at level like 1 to 30 something... I can't remember when officially. It only shows one to two perks on a blood web. And then it'll start showing three and then eventually four... Oh, she went the other way. Oh, never mind. It's the Ash. Hello, Ash. Man, it feels so weird to play with normal theater view after playing Bubba. Because <laughs> I was playing with um, Shadowborn, which extended the field of view by 15 degrees. Yeah, I know you're not going to care right now. Why would you waste a pallet at 5 gens? Never mind. He's willing to waste a pallet at 5 gens. I love Ash. I can hear him. He's so loud. Oh, we're in the god corner. Okay. Throw it. I'm just gonna break it, love. There's no mind game here. There's only pain. Oh, good. He didn't go to the other one. That hard. Sorry, I knew there's a vaulting point up there and a lot of people like using it. They'll use it rather than uh, try to go all the way around. Because usually if the killer follows you, that's death. But if you know that they're following you, that actually gives you a lot of distance. Oh, there goes my stacks. Unfortunate. Oh well. Oh, never mind. I don't have to continue chasing. I don't care. Give me a stack. Thank you. Who's your friend? Who's your partner in crime? Hello, Nia. 
the only skin I'm actually familiar with. <laughs> This man has so many th No. And no. How about no? I don't need followers. That's a hit. Really? Okay. I mean, I guess it is a fast bolt. That's slow but medium bolt. Um, -ba -da. Okay, they're all gone. I thought somebody was still committed over here. Oh good, it's the other ash. Never mind, they're grouping up. I want the stacks. Give me stacks, give me stacks. Yeah, stacks. Give me less stacks. Come on. I want to say I'm only just following because I want to see if there's somebody else right here. No! Uh, actually, no. Yes. 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 Yes! Very nice. I'll take that. Hmm, I think this person, but actually, it's probably the Michaela the Boon. It's just the Ash is using it. Yes, he is. And the question is, which one of the 500 rooms is it in? I think it was just to my right, and I'm just really dumb. Oh, those are, um, they're follow bots. They're the ones that are like, bang, follows if you just click this link. This link that's totally not suspicious. That's what those are. They're not people. They're people had, who have had their accounts screwed, though. Because that's what happens if you fall for them. Because your account gets compromised and taken, and then it starts advertising. Which is why somebody actually has turbo. Or one of them has turbo. Why are you vaulting? Just do a gen. Oh, that screwed her. We're at a beautiful, beautiful eight stacks. Nobody can stop me now. Unless it's the Michaela, then she will stop me. Can't stop me now. Unless it's the Michaela. They screw us all. Can't stop me. Do, 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 do. What did you expect? Get hard. Ten out of ten register. Dead. And I got to save two stacks, by the way. That's why I tried stabbing her like that. It's because my power doesn't count as a hit. In terms of the uh, the power or the uh, save the best for last, so I'm cheesing it. That's literally what my build is. It's all about not using my power. Actually, this is called teen with knife, but I will definitely do this because it's two free hits. the other god pellet. I'll gladly take it. Is it. That's no think pellet. These are pellets that do require thinking, which I do appreciate. He's gonna throw this one down instantly, though. I still swung poorly. <laughs> 
Dude, we've already got rid of this one. He had to take the window. I don't think he realized it was a window, though. Probably thought it was a door. Because there's two versions of that you can get. There's a window, there's a window, door, and block. Because every room will decide to have two doors on it. Or two doors minimum. Because every single spot that you see with a blocked door is a theoretical spot a door could spawn. Because this is all static in terms of the rooms itself. It's the direction inside the room itself. What doors are there and what stuff's in the room. Because all these rooms are always going to be there. The size is always the same. It's a question of what tiles are there. Yeah, he's the lever. Oh, this is a disgusting version. He just didn't realize. You throw that pallet and you keep going. I can't do anything about it. I make this. There's definitely gens done. I can't do anything about that. That took too long. Mid gen sounds pretty close though. Oh, <laughs> never mind. That's only like two pistons. That one might be close. It's 80 seconds for a gen. I just want the hit. I don't. I need. I need the hit and information. Okay, there's nobody here. And the question is, did he just commit and keep going? I saw the blood. I'm just not sure. Yep, he did. Because when you hit somebody, you can't see them again. So like, I wasn't too sure where he went. Okay, there. There's my other two people. There's this person, and then there's the one in the library. There they are. I'm just gonna whack her. Or sir, they go back to the circle of healing. Hmm, there was somebody here, but they must have left early. Because I know I was in chase, so. This sucks, because this isn't a good one to chill around, to see. Okay, we don't have to check, actually. We don't have to check, but we're going to be holding W for a while here. Let's see if I can get them off. Well, there's a person. Throw the pallet. Oh, nope, we're not playing the pallet. And there's no pallet in here. So she ran from safety to nothing. Excuse me? That was weird. And put you here. That gen's done. <laughs> that's... Yeah, that's the one with Michaela on it. It's done. Are you good at dead hard? Because that's the only way you make this. Yeah, this is a 3k with the Michaela. Oh, nope, the Michaela went. Holy crickies. I didn't think she would. I thought she would commit for the gin. This guy's on death hook. Got an interesting play in hand here. Because if the Nia throws herself into me, I could use the power, find this girl. Oh wait, I, actually no, I can't. I was gonna say, wait, I can break that pallet, but no, I can't. Not in the power anyways, because it replaces it with the vault animation. You can pick up in your power though, that's something people don't realize. 
Wow, I love blood marks. Oh my goodness. How far are we going? Hello, darkness, my old friend. It is good to see you again. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness, this is so much distance. We I love following blood marks. Guess Nia could have done two gens by now. <laughs> First it feels like it. I'm surprised she hasn't gone back to the library. Throw it. Oh, thank you. I get to keep the stacks. That's even better. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I get to cut you off, too. Did she double back? Or is she in here? Oh, she double back. Shit. Or did she somehow run at me in the mid? I'm actually a little confused on how she got around. Yeah, I can't stop this. Because I can hit you, but you're just going to hold forward. Ah! Yeah, cause she just gets to a door, right? I think she makes the door. Yeah, this is too much time. I think she just ran to a door. If she's on the very far door, I'm screwed. She's not on the door itself. Interesting. You could have made it. You might be healing up, though. Which is not good for me. Okay, she's back here. Back here, but I won because I got the hatch. If she chose not to heal, she would have made the hatch. Unfortunate. Unfortunate healing position. Yeah, you chose a bad healing position. You got really unlucky on that. Dead. And a hook. Yeah, this one will do. And that's the teen with the knife. The knippy. Teen with knippy one. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Uh, Legion has these two add-ons that are really weird. So they changed Frank's mixtape. Because Frank's mixtape is the add-on where it removes uh, your timer for your deep wound. And then there's another one. But basically what they do now is one speeds up your breaking the gens and pauses the progress of your power if you kick a gen. Which is strange. And then the other one is for breaking doors. <laughs> yes, breaking doors. And one's for breaking gens. And kick... yeah. It's, but you, you would think they would combine that, but no. They, they separated them and they're two different add-ons because apparently breaking the doors, well, with your power frozen, is broken, I guess. It's only 30% faster, too. It's not even that fast. 30% faster is a weird one, because it's like, that's not bad, but it's only doors. And not a lot of maps have doors. Or even doors that you want to break. So it's a weird one. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know why I just remembered this. Uh, just so you know, Leo, the thing actually did chip, so. And thank you once again. And when you mentioned the bracelet, I thought you meant the the stupidly overpriced diamond, hell diamonds. It's like, no, that's a joke item. That's the one I thought you, you said you were jokingly going to buy, not the bracelet, but thank you, though. 
Okay, because there is a uh, stupidly expensive thing on that list that was just a joke, and it actually says do not buy. <laughs> because somebody, or one of my friends, was just adding L items, and that was one of them. I know one of my other friends added an L onesie, which I thought was really cute, but they just don't have my size. Or at least they... At least it doesn't look like it would be my size. I'm, I'm really uncertain, because with those onesies, like, a lot of clothing... They don't have a standard, and the standard is awful because there's usually going to be one piece that's too tight. Because I had perfect measurements for a cosplay dress years ago, and the only thing that was off was the neck. And that was because it was going by Asian standards, and I guess Asian standards don't... Well, or I guess some Asian measurement. And I'm not really sure why the neck was... Too bad, because it had a zipper all the way up to the neck, but I couldn't use that. I actually had to cut that off because I was like, oh, I can't use this. I might as well just get rid of this little Velcro piece and zipper, which is unfortunate. It was... Also, I don't fully fit that thing anymore, because I used to be a much skinnier bugger when I was younger, too. Which is why you don't really want to buy cosplay stuff when you're in your teens. Actually, no, let's swap out Legion. Let's swap out the boy. Is Trapper done? Or do I still need to put some blood points in him? No, he's not done. You know what? Let's actually do a Trapper game. I don't really do Trapper. Trapper is a weird one. He relies a lot on the survivor. And the map. Because the map can just completely screw you over too. Because your whole game is about putting down them traps. Oh, what do I even want for these add-ons? I think this. Oh, the burn. No, that's okay of an add-on. This is fine. That's fine. They redid all the trappers' uh, add-ons, and they're actually not bad. Like, all these add-ons are actually really interesting. Hmm this side. Might as well do this side. I'll take those three. And I get the last perk before the thing closes on me. Yes. And Trapper does exactly what he sounds like. He places bear traps. And he used to only have one, but he has two now, ever since they buffed him a little, because holy crap, easy sucked. He, he was painful when he was a one-trap gamer. You can only hold one trap, but then you can bring an add-on to hold two, and that's what everybody just brought, was the bag. But they made it standard, and then they changed how the bags work. Which is okay, because I'd rather have two always than having to bring a add-on to do it. Because the purple bag used to be two traps with two extra holding. Yellow was one trap extra in your bag, but you can hold two more. And then the gray was one one one. But the purple one is you start with every trap in the game, but you can't pick them up. Which I think is a perfectly fine trade. A really good trade, too. Do, 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 do. Time the trap, the killer shack. But not in the places you think. Because this grass sucks. You can see through this grass. So I'm putting them in the shrubbery. Except this one. This one I will just put right here. Yeah, this is the trapper. I don't really play much of him. But this is also with cosmetics. This is not even close to what he normally looks like. Oh, these little shits know. Yeah, I know. You know how this how this game works. I'm gonna just pick it up. He knows. He's a knower. He's a falter. He's a track star. He's a falter. He's a da. Oh, he just sat on the corner. 
Here comes the dead hard to the window. Yeah, about 90% of my gameplays is going to be an M1 gaming. Just because there's no way I'm going to get these traps off. Oh, it's a really good trapping spot. There's no way I get it. It's a really good trap spot. That's a good one if they play the TL wall. You have to think like a survivor and half the time you're just not going to get your opportunities. And sometimes they're a hard commit, too. They're not like a, oh, I can just go do them. Like, this guy probably saw I placed that down. Yeah, he just saw I placed it down. He doesn't give a shit. Yep, see? You can set them under pallets, but then people just see and they don't care. And then they just go around the pallet. I mean, that is te te technically the best way you can play a trapper if you're forced to play with garbage. Like, I can do this. And then I go long, because I know this is his only other way out. But he might just sabo it before I even get out. Or he doesn't notice. That works with me. That works with me. Let's put that one down. Yeah. Bum, ba, da, bum, ba. All right, love. Let's go somewhere. But don't worry, she's gonna hold the W key. Dead hard. I'll do the same thing. That's well, the right strat. I'm playing a normal killer. I have to follow. It's really dumb, though. So this is a boon. Let's just pick this up. I don't... I need this elsewhere. He's gonna make it anyways. Wherever he wants to go, he makes it. Yep. Thank you. You're dead. You are indeed dead at four hooks. You have fun. I'm having about as much fun as you can get with Trapper. This is why I don't normally do Trapper. Let's just reopen this one. Reopen this one. There you are. Hi. Yes, hi. This pallet's gone and that one's gone as well. Yeah, I know you can hold a W key like everybody else and you're gonna dead hard last second. Yep, there it is. Yes. And there's a basement over here. <laughs> yep, here comes the basement trapper. Everybody's favorite mechanic. 
I hope you like dying down here, because that's all that's going to happen. This is what happens. Door trap. Oh, I, it's close enough. I can. I got enough time for this. Window trap from the inside and the other door trap. You trap it from this side. And this side. And if I can get one more trap, we're golden. But I, I'm fine with three. Now the question is, will they give me enough time? If she touches the door, yes. Yep. That's a scared crow, so somebody's going. Or at least I thought somebody was going. The only person that could go is the Nancy. Oh wait, there's only two of them. I'm dumb. I've kind of forgot. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I keep forgetting they changed this. They used to be able to just instantly pick up for extra points. Because this is one way you can farm bl some blood points with Trapper. Also GG there too bad. Hopefully no hard feelings that you kind of died first. That's more just awkward situations of you just kept popping up. Because I couldn't find anybody else. But yeah, I was only playing Trapper just because I was leveling him up before, and I just didn't feel like wasting time. Trapper's a rough one to play if you're not doing Basement Trapper or doing something super oppressive like throwing RPD. Because that's another thing you can do. This is a thing I've seen people do. It's really dumb. You go to... Do I really not have an RPD map offering? I guess I just don't spend enough blood points on Trapper. But basically, you go to RPD, and you take the purple bag with this, and you trap off the entire side of the map. Well, it requires them too much mechanics, so just don't work in this game, because people either play on low, like I do, because I need to know where the traps are, or where the, what the traps look like, because it's no good in Ultra, because, like... I need to know if that bush is real or fake, or if that bush is actually thicker than it is or not. So I have to play on low. But a lot of these grass, like a lot of the grass and stuff just completely screws over Trapper. Like I actually miss old grass, because old grass was okay for Trapper. You hit the traps just went invisible in the grass, which I thought was fine. Same with like a lot of the weird spots where you can get the traps kind of half hidden. Like I know that's really lame, but I think that's fine. I think, I thought that was always a fair mechanic. Like, it seemed really, really dumb if it was, like, 90% covered. But I'm talking about, like, staircases and stuff. I think that should be a perfectly fine spot if it's, like, slid halfway under. But I can understand the janky spots that you could find, like, old Haddonfield. Where it was, like... You know how, like, in the preschool, there's those entranceways? Apparently, that little wooden door frame, you could actually cover up 90% of the trap with that if you lined it up right. So people would, like, trap the, the old doorways with Trapper that way. And that was one of the obnoxious spots you could do that was 90% covered. I remember that. That was really silly. It was really funny because the only way you could see that was there too was the spikes. Like this, these little spikes... That, oh, sorry, I'm in the way. These little spikes, that was the only way you could tell it was there. Like you just saw these little dinky spikes sticking out of the ground and nothing else of the trap. It was so funny. It was just such... It was like, oh no. But it was also kind of funny to me. This is like, are you kidding me? <laughs> this is like you're running and it's like, ah, surprise trap. Not something everybody wanted to play against, but it was always funny when you see that. 
I mean, that's how trap like traps used to be really, really interesting because he used to be able, like when Trapper originally started, he had a much, much, much slower animation for doing his traps, but he also did other stuff with it, too. So like his traps, you could actually I don't know if it was intentional or not. You could actually double up the traps. So you could actually have two traps under the same spot. <laughs> but you were also able to trap under hook. So if somebody got unhooked, they would immediately get trapped. So what trappers would do is they double trap underneath the hook of a survivor. So you would unhook the survivor, they get trapped, you unhook, un, uh, or you free them, and then they immediately get trapped again. And that's how you bought time. They get back to the hook, they go deal with them. Because when I'm talking about bear traps take forever, it's not that, like, that was already 50% speed on top. So dub double that, and then the old animation is actually even slower than that. It's like four times as long as that. Because he will take his arm out, and then he'll take his leg and step on it, and then, like, slowly wind it up. And, like, he has, like, his animation's completely different from how it used to be, which is why it took five years. I think his older animation looks sick. But it just didn't work with the speed, which is why they probably scrapped it. So I liked his old animation way more for setting traps. So you can I? DVD through the ages, I think, or through the years. Yeah, I know it's called DVD through the years. Well, it doesn't exactly show just old Trapper. It shows the shenanigans that this game has once had. Some of them I know of, because I, I played with them. But then there's others that are just, in general, just what they are. Like, this is a good watch if you wanted to see some stupid game-breaking bugs in this game throughout the years. Some of them are really funny, like Space Billy. Space Billy is one of my personal favorites, and I kind of wish stayed, but... The only reason why the devs ever dealt with it was because it's not thematic with... Or it's not um, in line with the game's philosophy, even though it was really funny. Because there was a way to launch Billy straight up in the air, and because you launch him up straight up in the air, you rev again, and then you just go flying wherever you want to on the map, from up, up above. So you could like air bombard people, and not because they won't know where the heck you are. But and then they, and then you suddenly you drop from the ground from the sky. It was so stupid and funny. And there were so many ways of launching yourself. The one I'm familiar with is the track, the old excavator in Cold Wind. Like those tractor things. There, there's an older version of that that you you used to be able to do that. Because they've widened the thing, they've done a lot more to it. Because it used to be much skinnier. There's some things about I miss about old Cold Wind, but that's mainly the color tint. Oh, it's all good. I just wanted to show you something that's neat. Because you'll you'll notice so many things that might look weird. The first one will be like the UI is different. You'll notice the UI is different. The perk colors might be different because the perk rarities were different. Because the the leveling system changed as well. Blood points used to be a lot harder to grind too. There you are. He's a straight runner. How dare you be straight? No, you were supposed to stay up there, and I, I throw a hatch, and I look like God. Can you stay in there? I'll throw through the gaps. Yeah, holding hatchets are pretty OP, not gonna lie. Because it's max speed, and he has to guess when I'm gonna release. But if you had dead hard, that was free, because you just wait till you see me release and then you press E. But it's possible he doesn't have dead hard, or he doesn't know that. So I can throw through these gaps if I have the right angle. That was so janky of a hit. How did that even connect? That looks so bad. That first hit looks so bad. <laughs> Holy crap. What's your ping? How did that first hit even connect? What the fuck?
Okay, well, two people are up here. I'm gonna break this. Douche douche. There you are. This is so awkward. Body blocked. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jonathan. I hope somebody else comes to pick you up because I wasn't letting her do it. Thank you. Are you booning? No. Chew, get off the totem. Bad Nancy. Bad Nancy. No. How dare you diddle my totems. No, no bone diddling in my game. Are you upstairs? You are upstairs, aren't you? Where'd you go, Johnny? Oh, this is awkward. I don't want you. How did I hit the Nancy and not see her? What? That's interesting. How the heck did I hit the Nancy and not even notice where the other girl went? I can throw through this now. I just need to hit it right. Did you just throw a... Did you throw a thing at me? Oh, you better finish that, because I'm going to come up here. Oh. Thanks for playing. Okay. I don't know why you thought I would let you have that, but okay. Oh, they... Freaking diddle my bone again. Stop that. He was not a happy camper. Or happy gen runner, I guess. Ah, oh, Johnny. Oh, Johnny. Maybe she thought she could get the to the gen done and have me drop in her face. That's the only other thing I can think of. Or they're doing the weird thing that everybody keeps trying to do. I was going to say, I was going to say, I think it's the stupid thing everybody keeps doing where they try to throw you down the hole. But the other play is to also um, do it with. Oh, I'm out of hatchets. Stay there, Nancy. <laughs> well, I thought maybe, just maybe, you were trying to get me the kick. Instead of do that. Because you. Because I've seen people do it with the freaking. Um, last mom. Because the strat I've seen people do it with is you do Blast Mine, you set it at 99, you get them to kick the gen, they stun, and then you drop them while they're stunned. Yeah, I'd agree that you should have stayed in the game anyways, because you kind of screwed over this game. Is there a boon spot up here? Or is it oh, it's right there. I say, no way. When did they add this? Uh, uh, uh. Ah, I could have thrown through that. That's a hard one to hit, though. Yeah, DC's usually... Hi? What you doing, David? I think you're dead, David. Oh, I'm just out of hatchets. 
Yes, I, I was waiting out your dead hard. Yes, yes, that was what I was doing. I was definitely not right clicking this whole time. Uh, it's a bit of unprofessionalism, because usually it's the best to stick out the game, but that's that's about it. I mean, it is a game. I can't force you to stay, especially because I know that philosophy of if you're not having fun, just leave. But that that's just my take on it. Like, it depends. Cause like, I, that's one aspect about this game. Like, I can understand because I came from that from both ends. The DC penalty, I think, is that one that really set people off. We will have a round two at this. I will hit you. <laughs> okay, Johnny is getting the Yeah, Johnny's getting the hatch. Well, I've just been through the shit show that is the DC fiasco of people DCing on first downs. Because it's a certain killer they don't like and stuff, and it's like, this it's such a weird one. Because it's like, I understand the perspective of you're not having fun, so don't play the game. But there's also a perspective of if you're not having fun in the game, to not play at all. Rather than load into a game to only screw the game over for four people. So like, I understand both ends from that. Wait, are you getting mad that I'm even defending the philosophy? Because like... The answer is he shouldn't have done it to be he or she shouldn't have done that to begin with. I will die on that hit. I'm saying the idea. Like they DC on the hook, or is it desync because of a desync error? Because I've had people desyncing a couple times tonight and crashing, and they've actually came in here and told me that. Was that all tonight? Because I think it's just the servers are starting to shit themselves again. Or it's my ghost face is actually screwing You've me over too. Because one guy told me they crashed after I hit somebody exposed. Timing? Okay, I'm gonna guess uh, a bit of delay. He didn't answer. Or was that the follow? Oh, you're talking about. Sorry, you're talking about like those people that crashed. Because one person actually straight up just came into my game and told me that it crashed and it showed that I DC. Which is weird. Because they didn't get a DC penalty for it. That's what I'm talking about, which makes me wonder if I need to report the full game. Like, because I have the game recorded. That's a send out submission ticket, not a... Not a send in game report. Because in game report isn't going to do anything for it. Because crashes like that, you need to send it as a support ticket. Technically, that's what you're supposed to do with hackers too, and then submit the uh, the Steam 64 ID. But we all know that doesn't do shit. Usually, the ones for uh, bugs and stuff, though, they will do, which is actually really nice. This person actually committed to having three. Holy crikeys! Ooh, I haven't had that one. But that's because I've been I I dodged that day. I dodged the day when the um what's that perk called? Wake up. When wake up would crash the killer. When I heard that was going down, I was not playing that day. I heard that was going down, and that was quite something. Because it was if you open the door with wake up at 90%, it would instantly crash the killer, and it would give them the DC penalty as well. It it was it was wild, and there was people going out of their ways to do that and be twats about it. They were intentionally screwing p killers over for no reason, and then that's why that got kill switched because I know that was happening. I've also seen the the um, object of obsession bug. I think there's a couple others that might be possibly happening. I'm not really sure. 
There's a lot that seem to break it because it's desyncing, and I don't know if the desyncing is happening because of the servers are not good lately. So I don't think I have any killer challenges that matter. I mean, I could try this. This isn't really a fun one. This is Billy Perks. Oh, but I gotta give up my fun stuff. I don't have to play it on Billy, even though Billy would be the better answer. It was Enduring? Yeah, Enduring Lightborn, Tinker. Enduring Tinker would work best on Blight, but Blight tilts the living crap out of me. <laughs> so I should probably try it on demo. I can't play a single game of Blight without losing my mind. Because I get one slippery slippery um, object and I just get so annoyed. Oh, wrong one. Wrong eyes. Oh, there it is. And Tinker. T -t 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 Tinker. And then I'm going to do the thing I don't really want to do, but I need to find people. There we go. There, I can find some people. Because my tracking is going to be a little weak. I mean, I got Tinker and Whispers, but I'd like to add one more thing. Also, I love I still have a bajillion cakes on demo. I technically still have uh, about 5th. Somewhere between 40 and 50 on Billy. I still have 60 on Doctor, because I just don't play Doctor. And then I think I have a bajillion on Pig as well. Because I was leveling Pig at the time. Oh, we got the extra blood points. Let's go. Let's go. Boop. Yes, boop. Boop, the demo. Well, sadly, nobody's going to have pebbles because my favorite thing to do that's really, really stupid that you can do with Demogorgon that I love is that when you throw the pebble, it has an animation of the rock. The height that it throws the rock when you're crouching is the same height that when Demogorgon opens his mouth to shred. So it looks like he's going to eat the pebble. So my favorite thing to do with against a Demogorgon, or at least back when Demogorgons were more common, it was to play with the pebble, and then you would throw the pebble at the pallet every time he's about to go eat or shred the pallet. So it looked like he's eating the, pe the pebble every time, and I'd be like, there, I fed you. Feed the demo. Feed the demo the pebbles. Yes, feed them all the pebbles. <laughs> oh, so stupid, but I loved it. Also, this is probably going to be my last game of the night. I didn't realize how late it is. Plus, my brother is bringing over this uh, puppy that we got to take care of for the day for them. And that's going to be like eight. And I have a feeling the puppy's going to whine. I'm going to get no sleep. Oh my goodness. This is such a bad idea. <laughs> I probably should have streamed this late. This is basically on-car time, yeah. This is our one and only chance of this challenge, because I'm probably not going to ever try it again. Well, I'm not going to try it. Oh, well, I might try it someday. I don't know. Yo, Survivor? Survivor, Survivor, Survivor. Yes! Oh, never mind. That's a wheel. Bum, 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 bum. Yo, other gamer. Let's go hunting. You do not make that window if that's the garbage you're trying for. Yeah, you can play that. That's fine. Really? 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 What do you mean you got the slam? Always gonna have dead hard. Huh? 
Nope, no better. Ben's done though. That thing blinks at 70% of a gen. And yeah. I do need to put down some portals though. If I can get at least one, that'd be nice, but I don't think this girl's gonna let me. Oh my goodness, there's Gen 2. I'll place a portal right here because I need to come back later. That gen's done. Yep, there it is. I'm gonna get a third portal. Oh, I do that on the right because I'm blocking it on the left. Because I know my spot's not the most convenient. Yeah, because I know I, half the time I'm blocking the power as well. That is so close. Nice. Okay, I'm definitely dropping a portal and leaving. Yeah, it's not a perfect use though, but I mean, it, it's... A, it's not bad. It does the job. Yo, two gamers on the gen. Lycan has busted. It used to be only when injured. This is just free information. Like, like just knowing she's there. Like, that's disgusting. I would have gotten zero information if that was the old one. Should have put in uh, save the best for last is my per last. Well, I mean, barbecue didn't would have told me they're there, but it didn't tell me where they would have ran as soon as I teleported. Though I wouldn't have known she was just right behind that wall. But I got that free information even after I teleported for three seconds, so I got the free look before and after. It wasn't just one little thing. I actually had like seven seconds to look. was huge because they could have just ran off that whole time because I would have just only saw it on the way before I started so I think it's better but we'll see in a sec Let's see where they're at well not, none over here but I can just turn around and see barbecue wouldn't do that like I know they're there that's there and they're going back this is nuts He gets the vault. Just a strong vault. Can't do too much about it. If they're closing the portal, it's such a waste of time. Yeah, you're not going to vault it one last time. That'd be silly. Be a waste of a vault. He had freaking deliverance. Are you kidding me? That boy did not care. <laughs> My game plan was not in, not gonna work. Okay, where are you at? He is close. Oh, he has second win. What a maniac! I thought he had deliverance and just went off. Well, of course, I'm gonna check for that. You literally did it in my face. Yeah. 
That would have been a really awkward pallet slam if somebody was there. But I just have to take my chance. Okay, we're at one gen left. One gen left and two injured. <laughs> she got stuck. Oh, I would say it's given me two different opportunities to get information. And I'm about to get a third one here. Because they're, if they're breaking the portal, that's even better for me. Because they're wasting time. It doesn't turn off BS, but I don't really care. I just need the information. See, he, like, he's in the basement. Like, why is he in the basement? They're doing the gen. That's done. This is almost done. Actually, I should go after this. The basement player isn't worth it. This one is actually really important to get. And then unfortunately, this guy's also dead on hook. Thank you. And now I gotta pray that they don't finish both. Huh? Why? Why would you do that? Asakawa, what are you doing? You're, you're, you're dying. That's not, not, that's not a good plan. Yep, there goes the second gen. <laughs> if I could get one more person, we're golden, but that gen's done. Oh, uh, which one of the two was it? No, you're near. Oh, you're not near. I'm using this information right now. You might think, oh, I'm going to go across the map, right? No. Heck no. I'm just turning around. Busted information. Absolutely busted information. I can't believe she just committed and didn't care. Because that was the freest hit for me. Yeah, I could have done that on the first shred. Well, she blocked it. Did you really think you can get the medkit off? Oh, right, circle of healing, duh. Dead. I think this is her death hook, so I just got the challenge. That's crazy. First try, baby. Enduring lightning or er, lightborn OP. <gasps> no, he's on <out> the <laughs> you little shit. Why are we looping this? Why are we looping this? They didn't throw the offering, I thought. You just randomly guessed it was going to be at the shack, which I mean, it's not wrong. Quite a common spawn. I think I'm just gonna bloodlust this honestly because I know he needs distance. Oof. Oof. I'm gonna say if Hatch is right there, I deserve to lose. Wait, it is right there. <laughs> wow, it's on the other side of the. Wow. 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 
Wow. How did we both not hear that? <laughs> that is so close. Because if he went left, he would have got that. But yeah, like it's busted. This is so busted, like... This is the freest information ever. You just teleport to a portal right beside itself, and you can tell if somebody's even nearby, so you don't even leave the hook. That's, or if I'm pretty sure if they're in an area, I just put a portal side by side, open it, and I just start looking. Like, there is no counterplay to that. That's disgusting. That is such a busted add-on. No wonder people say it's good now. It used to be only injured people. That's what the old one did. It was only injured people that you saw throughout the map. But this is everybody for three seconds. Where with the other one, it was, uh, I think it was injured people only while you're in the portal. Only when you're in the portal. So it's a fixed camera angle and it's injured people. But with that, I'm going to call it a night for the bonus stream. And I just want to check one thing, see if there's anybody I want to raid at this time of the night. Or feel comfortable rating. But uh, otherwise, thank you all for coming. My name's Sarah the L. Thank you for stopping by, even though it's for a short while. It does look like Sky is on still, so I'm gonna go raid him. He's a good friend of mine, so I always like sending people that way. But otherwise, I will see you all Sunday on the usual time. Oh yeah, I can give you a who. Then send the sky all the who's. Then sky who's in love. Otherwise, I will be back on Sunday. And thank you all for stopping by. I love y'all. And I'll catch you all later. Oh, wait, I want sky on my screen first. And go in any second here now. Sorry. And go, 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 send love, send L's at boops and L.